Yes, it does. Good morning, everybody. Mm-hmm. Happy Monday. Happy we're, Monday. We're back to the beginning of the week once again. Uh, everybody. I, or as I like to call it, do over. <laughs> do over. <laughs> do over Monday. Uh-huh. Everybody say hello to Sham. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Hey, Amy, Sarah, Pamela, Hold Stephanie. Hold on, wait. Oh, I don't forget. Doe Eye Donkey, uh, while waiting earlier, <clears throat> um, requested... Since you know, the swords have always kind of been my thing, despite Chantel trying to wrestle them away from five me. Five Vagisil mm, five emojis. Five Vagisil emojis. But those are <laughs> members only emojis. So, I mean, members only or members, yes, please throw the Vagisil. <laughs> You're so funny. Creek Native Girl, hello. Sean, Sushi, Krista, Hellfire, Agony Jones, Devon Rose, Pamela, Ham Hat, Katie, mm-hmm. Julie, The Goonie, Vive, Michelle, Moonface, Capone, Michelle, Just Aline. Bella, Danny Jean, Peb's mom, fighting for animals, Duchess of Langley, tattoo my toes. Hello, good to see Long you. Long time no see. And Duchess, yeah, that's an old, that's an old school mm-hmm. name. That's why it took me a minute. Been around. Mm-hmm. Or hello, Snarky, Lisa Studio, Amy P, mm-hmm. maybe one dumb pigeon, Flow three hundred and sixty PMA, Chris, Allie, <laughs> the cold uh, <laughs> Moon Goddess, it's me, Marisol. Hey, mm-hmm. JJ, Abby Road, Miss Chris, Lori Compton, hello, Tweet T, sorry not sorry, Bebop. Harley, Professor Plum, Quentin, Jessica, Mary B, Hellfire, everybody. Katie Cakes, hello, PMA. I saw a Sonya UK. There she is up there with the paper clips. Hey, Sonya. That has to be our Sonya. I don't think it is, no. No, not no. our Sonya? No, but okay, grab my still... attention. You should know why. I've discovered a new reality TV show. Oh, my goodness. Sarah mm-hmm. D. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. Pamela Meg. So glad to hear you, Yava. So glad to, for you to be here, Pamela. Hello, hello. Oh. Hannah, Hannah. Tell these people. Yes, thank you for the super chat. My chat so far behind on my phone. That's why I was using the. Do you want? There's the iPad, yeah, and there's that. a stand over there. Tattoo my toes. Welcome back to the shit show. Thank you so much for joining. We do appreciate you. You been fucking motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to catch her up. I think she's been gone so long she doesn't realize that, that is the that's the standard uh, soundboard. The welcoming bit. to the support yes, group. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So Sam has been watching. We're not going to spend too much time bullshitting because there's a lot to cover, yeah. as you all know. But we will talk a little bit. But I discovered this show uh, just by chance. It's on. YouTube. How did you find I, it? I, I have no idea. Was it recommended to it you? Must have been. Tell me the reason why the, the <laughs> British show on the Doyle or whatever was recommended <laughs> to you. Explain to me what you've been searching on YouTube for this show to be recommended to you. Go ahead. Oh, I have no idea. I just think I've been a very good girl. <laughs> You deserve this gift, did you? That's right. Is that what it was? (laughs) Yep. It's Mm -hmm. called Benefits Britain on the Dole or Life on the Dole or Mm -hmm. something like that. I fucking love this shit. Why why do I not know how to use that? (laughs) (laughs) That's got to be the greatest shit ever, dude. I mean, because I, I think the poverty is different, like in different countries and everything. But It's all so different. Like, did you all know that in Britain... Uh, when you go into the hospital, like if you're inpatient, you have to pay to watch the TV. Mm-hmm. Apparently, it's 10 pounds for five hours of TV. No, no TV for the poors. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, poors, you're out of here. I Just sit know. there and twiddle your thumbs, please. <laughs> I want to know all kinds of shit about the people of the UK. It's great, especially the trashy people. <laughs> they even talk different, huh? They yeah they talk, yeah they talk different. I have to like keep keep rewinding uh, mm-hmm. and re listening. <laughs> so now you know what I've done with my weekend. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, it's before long. So I'm totally lost over here. Yeah, she has no idea what's going on. It's been one of the biggest weekends in the Chantel verse in a long time, and Shan- and Sam's over there watching fucking British people mm. on welfare. 
I see. Neff knows about it. Says that show is addicting. Somebody else said I've seen every episode. Did you see the episode with Debbie? No, I don't think I've seen Debbie yet. BTP says apparently it was recommended to everyone because I just started watching it oh, too. Oh, wow. it, it was okay. not Mary. It was not recommended to uh, <clears throat> Yeah, but over here. That's interesting. <laughs> um, I can't believe that you people have known about this show and have watched every episode and have not mentioned it to either of us. I'm going to take names of those who uh, were withholding this delicious information. It's great. Anyway, Anyways, in other news, uh, I just want to let everybody know that um, we do have an, a very new picture of an unfiltered Chantel. Okay, I think I think I deserve a round of applause finally. Yes, you're welcome. There she is. So we know who our girl really is. That way if Chantel goes missing, that we have an actual picture to show the search and rescue. Yeah. <laughs> Danny Jean, I have my first date tomorrow morning. I met him off the, oh, God. We're going to get breakfast and then a stroll in the park, huh, before he goes back to base. Mm-hmm. Write that down. We're going to need to make sure that Danny Jean is uh, present in the support yeah, group tomorrow. Yeah, Danny Jean, can you send me a DM? Thank uh, you so much, Danny Jean. And uh, good luck with that. Life 360 group. They, Keep an eye on your location. They're going to go get breakfast and go to the um, park. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's where a lot of people come up missing. Don't freak the girl well, out. I'm just I mean, saying. I agree. I agree. It's best to be safe than sorry, Danny Jean. We will lecture you like we are your mother. Yes. But it's only because we care about you. Make sure somebody in your circle has at least found my location, Life360, ha- also, something. I, might I suggest have him send you an actual picture of his military ID and you save that bad boy mm-hmm. on your phone. Maybe mm-hmm. share it with some people. Yeah. I'm just saying better safe than sorry. Highway lady. Welcome to the shit show. Thank you so much for joining. We do appreciate you. Plenty of fish. Go ahead, girl. You been fucking motherfucker. It's a dangerous world out here. We're just concerned. That's all. Dude. I'm telling you, if I, if I I mean, going to get, I wouldn't be dating. (laughs) Going to get (laughs) breakfast is one thing that's public, but going to the park, I'd scratch that off the list. (laughs) Save that for a later date. Okay. Not that park is not a good first Mm. date. I mean, I guess if it's uh, no, no, no. I mean, because when I think of parks, the parks here are like wooded areas. There's trails and things like that. A good place for somebody to, you know, <clears throat> yeah, had someone. I'm just saying, hello, can you, just can you put the disguise on that picture so we can at least have that back. You've been promising the Shh. support group and myself. You would re- replace that picture for literally months. Sorry, Thank you, just Deb, for the uh, support. We appreciate you. <laughs> you been fucking motherfucker. Can we one my, step? I, okay, I gotta sh- sign in. My chat. One fine. step at a time. Okay, I brought back the unfiltered picture of Chantel. Okay, I feel like that is the right step, the first step in the right direction. And here you are complaining. I can't believe we literally had to wait months for that. You know what? I've been busy. (laughs) She begged me to come down here. You have no idea. Now I'm going to punish her for it. God. Well, because there's so much to cover, I figure you didn't want to miss this. You know, it's not one of these boring episodes. Mm -hmm. And let me say, by the way, yesterday we were upstairs in the kitchen and like that's where I I eat at the like the bar stool up there. So Mm -hmm. I'll flip out my iPad or whatever and I'll turn on like whatever to catch up on. Right. So I happened to turn on. I don't know what video it was of Chantel's. Right. And we were and I swear to God, I scrolled all the way to the end and there was Chantel eating and talking about Nodder. At any time, you can open up a video of Chantel and you will guarantee to find her doing at least one of the one of these two things, eating or talking about Mm -hmm. Nodder. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was so bizarre. It's like a four hour video. And I was like, scroll Eating. Eating. Scroll, Nodder. Scroll. Eating. eating. Scroll. Nodder. (laughs) Yes, man. Sham is addicted to British poor people now. Mm-hmm, probably. I've always been a little fixated on British poor people, to be honest. <laughs> I've always been fixated on the poor. <laughs> Creek native girl. Sam, I'm going to tell you, check the P.O. box Monday. There is a gift on the way. Aww. Wait, you go. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. Thanks, Creek native girl. for the. And thank you for the super chat as well. You been fucking mother- She fucking loves it when I get mail the P.O. box. <laughs> get your own P.O. box. <laughs> bum talking over here talking about the british poor <laughs> i'm just playing jesus oh now it's all serious when it's about you you huh? explicitly told me not to get my own p.o box it was a joke a there's no point in you getting your p.o box your own p.o box exactly. okay we can just share oh but heaven them. forbid it's if fine. i get a piece of mail in her <laughs> it's a whole episode <laughs> shut up wait wait and the funniest part is her little girl has gotten so much uh mail in that p.o box from all of our 
lovely, dedicated, very much appreciated <laughs> viewers. Yeah, you created a monster viewers. Yeah, now every fucking time. <laughs> Can we check the PO box? Can we go to the PO box? And she is just fucking sure there's something in there for her. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. She's the worst, man. Mm-hmm. And she expects it to be huggy wuggy shit. And if it's mm-hmm. not, she's like, okay, yeah, cool. Mm-hmm. You know, I have mm-hmm. nothing else to say. <laughs> Anyways, so it's been pretty exciting a uh, couple last couple of days, wouldn't you say? How much have you followed? You followed along for Quite the most bit. part. Yeah, yes. I think we all have. Hi, Yabin, Sam. We need you after this weekend, Foodie Saga. It's a heat wave in the UK, 36, 96 here yeah, today. I heard no aircon. We were just talking about that. That is absolutely ridiculous. And y'all that you don't all have AC? Mm hmm. Yeah. So I guess it's climate change, right? Because obviously they didn't. Ha- they don't have AC over there for a reason. They never used to yeah, get this hot. Yeah, is that I what guess, it is? I guess. I feel for your girl. Stay cool. Hopefully it'll pass soon. Um, good morning. Just a quick question for Sam. Did you ever go get your cheese? Bloomer, no. thank you for being a member for nine months. Oh, the cheese at the, the cheese and blueberries <laughs> that you yeah. left? Yeah. Wow. Mm-mm-mm. No, she was like, it's just uh, cheese and blueberries. We can replace it. <laughs> DG, she has not slept all night. She put up a video 17 minutes ago. We're going to talk about that before we actually get into the, like, de- we're going to be all over the place today. We're going to Try to start from the beginning, but I have a feeling we're going to jump around. It's just what it is. Mexican pizza for life. Seriously, I love you both, and we love you too, Toe. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. You been fucking okay, motherfucker. I finally got the damn chat pulled up. You got the chat pulled up? Okay. Um, Wait a minute. Before we get into that, hold on, guys. Hold on, okay? There was a picture that was uh, circulating around on the uh, Twitter. Actually, it was a video. A little short clip that's been going around the Twitter, right? I couldn't get the video to share, so I just took the picture because there's a reason I want to talk about this. We were talking about this yesterday. Gosh. This is Chantel's gut, her belly, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Look at, the, it looks like an actual baby's head. If you look up here, like under. Right under her breast, like all the way on the left side. Do you see that swollen area uh, popping you, in quick to say hi? I hope you all had a great weekend. Everything is getting crazy. Hey, Queen, I know it's a lot for you to keep up hey, with, thanks too. thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you, Queen, for being a member and always being here. You've been fucking motherfucker. And a valuable member of the community. Yes, for sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, it takes a team of people. So when we say really every does. clip channel, every receipt mm-hmm. channel, recap channel, everybody is important. Everybody plays every a part. They're getting for their work. Oh, the God. Especially. Look who it is. It comes rolling oh, in here. Oh, oh, I miss everyone to support group on Twitter. I got suspended. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, dude. For the loaf butthole mouth pick. A bee is too close <laughs> to the sun. Anyway, <laughs> y'all like my pick. Our Lady. Thoughts and prayers for Our Lady Chantel, oh, a perpetual man. poutine. That's okay, Our Lady. Uh, hey, go get you a, a VPN and yeah. you'll be good to go as yeah. far as a new Twitter account. Maybe Just let us know. Maybe card for your phone. Yes, you know. yes. RIP to you. Mm-mm-mm. <gasps> sucks man i just scraped something off of this ipad raylan's had that ipad very much yeah and i would be very i would yeah mm-hmm. proceed God. with caution over there God damn. is there a certain way to join memberships or i'm just being dull laura it's different on other devices do you know where the link is i know where the link is if i'm in your youtube studio okay hold on give me a minute i'm gonna pin it to the uh to the chat mm-hmm. thank you so much for the support Hold on, I gotta. I, we gotta finish talking about this liver situation with Chantel. Yes, yes. So this bulge over here, which looks like a baby's head, okay? And you were like, people are saying that you can see her liver through her. That's definitely her liver. That is her fatty, enlarged, hardened, about so we to Googled. fail liver. Good morning, support group tuning tuning in from a beach in Texas. Hey. Fix yourself full. Wow. Enjoy, I enjoy that. You been fucking motherfucker. While we're sitting here in a rainy day in Indiana. Second one in a row. <laughs> Let's look at this though. So here's the picture. I was like, no way. You really yes. think that's her liver? Yes, I do. And then so I Googled mm. it. And there you go. Exactly where Chantel is swollen mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. where her liver is located. Look at that hump. And this is not the first time this has been noticed. No, spotted. no. We are not the ones who pointed this out. And Sam was the one to tell me people have been talking about how you see your liver through her stomach. And I'm yeah, like, no like way. Yeah, like this isn't just like a fluke or she ate something weird or no. whatever. No, no. This no. has been going on. Yeah. So that is how swollen her liver is. That looks absolutely painful. It really, really does. Mm-mm-mm. Anyways, just want no, to point that, that out. scar tissue from her hysterectomy. That's all the way up under her boob. Also, <laughs> something else that was uh, shared on the Twitter. Mm-hmm. This is called, this is what we call classic fat fishing. Please do not do this. Okay. 
This is frowned upon. Yes. Danny Jean, you're the one going on a plenty of fish date this weekend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Video chat Exhibit only. A. Exhibit A. Okay. This is why you got to be super careful on the single sites. Okay. If you're meeting somebody off these single sites or whatever, and you're exchanging pictures and you've talked to this person and you know that you're kind of into them or whatever, video chat, please. Video chat before you meet these people. And this is why this should be against the law. Absolutely, 100%. You cannot have profile pictures that look like this and an in-person show up looking like that Mm -mm -mm. and then get mad because they don't call you back. Are you kidding me? MC says she also had veins down the front of her belly. Liver <gasps> failure signs. Thank you. I didn't oh want to miss goodness. that. Oh, my Hey, MC. That. Hey, fat apples. BTP. Bloomers. Do you think her stomach is soft and squishy or hard as a rock? Hard, hard as, as a rock. rock. Get yeah, absolutely. I don't know if you What'd you it. say? You have another super chat before it. There you go. For our two thick queens. Good morning, Sam. Who do you think you are <laughs> listening while fixing trash trucks? Wow, tech. Thank you okay. so much for that. We appreciate you. Thank Hold you for on. your work. Who do you Candy think Jean said you are? Too much. <laughs> Anyways, let's move along here. <laughs> Our Lady Chantel said thanks for the th- thoughts and prayers, guys. I'll make it through this <laughs> crisis. Okay, so there's a lot to cover. Okay, let's let's talk about it first. So it seems that there has been a um um I don't know what he calls his members these days. The Nader Al Shami family, the Al Shami family fallout with one of his loyal suppo- mm-hmm. supporters which was which was the jennifer what's her last name corvina corvina mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so it seems that she has done some recording of um She's been recording which is curious yeah i guess yeah you gotta Why wonder was she recording even all the way back then i don't know and, and I've, I've seen somebody in the chat talking about it's coming it's a matter of time they've got this coming that coming or whatever yeah and i i get that that could be a total like setup or whatever but what I don't understand is now the rumor, I guess, that I've seen on Twitter. Maybe it was the farms. I can't remember. They're saying that I guess she has a, a, a kid and that the kid has spent a lot of time FaceTiming Nodder and Didi. So if this was a total setup just to collect this mm. information or whatever, there that wouldn't have never happened. You would have never put your child in you a position have, like that. Yeah, use your child as Laura for clearly somebody who's... An- so she's just basically a scolded woman and wanted to make sure that I guess if anything did happen that she had... Something there to fall back on. There are definitely, absolutely, 100% women slash people out there who do that. Who? What do you mean? Will preempti- preemptively record and make files on you. Even yes. When, yeah, that's true. Experience. Yeah, I've, I've, I've had it happen to me. Yeah, I mean, you, you don't have to. Yeah, I've, I've had it happen to me. Yeah. <laughs> and then when the breakup fallout comes, they just completely dump it off onto the mm-hmm. internet. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's a thing. Mm-hmm. Let me go down. I'll hey, Lisa Luhu. I'm finally a member. Yay, Sham and Yabba. XOXO Lisa. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you, Lisa. Look, I'm a buddy. I ran out of air. Could you tell? Jennifer was supposed to move in with Nodder. It's a lot. Mm-hmm. See, Hold okay. At first, scorn. I was thinking maybe that was all just uh, since she's been recording all this time. Maybe it, the whole thing was a ruse. She was playing a part. She was just saying things that she knew she needed to say to get, you know, into a position of you know, trust or whatever, where she could have these conversations with them, you know, and be able to record and stuff. But the fact that she actually used her child, even if like it was just as a decoy type thing, that's too far. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So that is very but I don't questionable. think, I don't think that that was, I think she was actually, yeah. you know, she wanted, I don't know if she thought that he was going to be like the step daddy. I don't know. Like it's so fucking bizarre yeah. to me. Is this person? I don't know anything about her. I got to catch up. Is she in the U S Canada? Where is she? I think U S I'm pretty sure she's in the U S. Probably. Yeah. Cause I, mm-hmm. yeah. Nada records all calls. I would protect myself by recording too. Mm. Yeah, that's true. Oh no, I'm not giving her shit by, by the fact that she recorded calls. Oh, Lisa Luhu wanted a stupid fucking motherfucker for her super chat. Sorry oh, about yes. that, Lisa. Sorry about that. Let me pull that right up. Here we go. You stupid fucking motherfucker. And Sonya UK said the same thing I did. Where are these women from? Yeah. They do not have common sense. It's crazy, man. It's crazy that they see her yeah, and seen so Chantel, cool. what all she said about Nodder. Yeah, it's dude, yeah. What all FFG said about Nodder. What all, you know, we've seen play out over the internet with our own two eyes and these women are still flocking to him. Now, that doesn't mean that just because you, you just because they see this and they end up still trying to hook up with Nodder does not mean that they get what they deserve because they, you know, blah, blah, blah. Still, no, you know, at the end yeah. of the day, you don't want to see that happen to anybody. So you get these videos that are being leaked on the channel. Um, What is the name of the channel again? Oh, that was Jennifer's 12-year-old child's name. He was saying 
Troll Detective. Who oh, wait? No, it's not Troll Detective. It's Sam's. I got it pulled up. Oh yeah, Sam's no, what Bar I'm Lounge. Is, though, um, I think no. The remember I told you Troll Detective had a good video I watched this morning. Yeah. It clips of him saying the kid's name, but of course, Troll Detective um, bleeped it out. Yeah, yeah, I heard that he doxed a kid and everything. That's like they... Lavina's kid. I didn't yes. realize at the time. Okay, now you're getting. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, they are gross. So the hey, videos. Goddess Artemis, welcome to the support group. Sorry. Thank you so much. Uh, do we hold one? Wait, to... did you play the sound? No, I didn't. Thank you, Goddess. We suck. <laughs> no, it's because mother, I've got mother. the other page open. Yeah. I gotta keep up with what I'm doing Go over on, here. Going on. Okay, so it's uploaded on Sam's Bar Lounge, and I'm going to share the uh, link in the chat, and I guess that's where we're going to start at. And yes, I know that Chantel is right now still up, has not slept, still uploading videos. We're going to get to it. So this channel is uploading the audio that's been leaked. Ah, hold on. Let me pin the, it there, hold on, pin message. There's the channel at the top of the uh, chat, guys. So, so is this Sam's Bar Lounge? I don't know who it is. Uh, they seemingly came out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, it, it seems like this person that Corvian is handing this stuff over directly to them. Yeah, they have obviously some mm-hmm. kind of a, you know, Exclusive. connection. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 totally. Mm-hmm. Okay, but there is an audio that was leaked, and it's a preview, I guess, of what's to come. Mm-hmm. I mean, I wasn't going to play it, but, I mean, why not? Uh, dude, we've heard worse. Um, it could be disturbing, so... You know, if you are sensitive to that kind of stuff, at least cut out for the next minute or so. Let me see. Oh, I can't even share that, but that's okay. I'll just play the audio. Mm -hmm. This was titled, Preview of Chapter 3, Nader El-Shami and Didi, Viewer Discretion Strongly Advised, Violent Content. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, this is just the audio. When it's short little video, I can't. It, it's not going to show anything, anyways. Yeah, no. Oh, you think Sam's Bar Lounge is Jennifer Corbina? Probably. Could Actually, be. They have really good editing skills. If that's the case, and how ironic is that? That's true. <laughs> Very true. You ready? Yes. Yes. Let's play the audio. <laughs> that was it. A very, very, very short preview of what's to come. I guess they're probably still in the middle of uploading and trying to put those videos together over there, but that's a clip of what's to come. Now, um, Chantel did hear the video last night on one of her live streams, and she completely acted, you know, she was, she looked like she was pretty fucking shocked, right? And it seems like today, now she's trying to put out more videos. Like, don't, I'm not trying to downplay what happened to Chantel or Dee Dee, either one, but the fact that you heard this clip be released, like you've already said all this, all this shit that you, that you were saying in this video that she just put out this morning, we've heard it. You put out videos, you took it down. You know why she took it down? Because she wanted to get back with him. Mm-hmm. She wouldn't, you know, now it's, you know, she's full force because I feel like Chantel thinks that Dee Dee is getting all the victim attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Is that not gross? It is gross. It is. So she's trying to pull it, pull the attention mm-hmm. back around to her. Oh, hold on, guys. Remember what happened to me? Mm-hmm. Here's 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 evidence of what happened to me, you know, but I don't know. We'll get to that video before we leave. Let's let's listen to. Uh, I was thinking let's start out with the uh, <laughs> talking about the three. I think that's a good place to start. Mm, you might have to. What? I have to age restrict it if you do. She's about this explicit. it's all the stuff that we've heard from Chantel before i mean if i do oh, i do it's fine okay. no you're right it's fine let me pull up the video the actual video though i know i, can I don't do know it. why i found it like okay listen i think maybe i found it to be like more explicit and raunchy coming out of Didi's mouth than i did Chantel's because i never believed a word of what Chantel said but now it's like oh this is real this is true it really happened oh this is naughty <laughs> I mean, I didn't necessarily doubt Chantel as far as that, because what was weird was the fact that she said that she did it to Dee Dee, and I was like, well, if Chantel would have got on there saying how Dee Dee did it to her, I probably would have fucking questioned it big time. Like, no goddamn way is the way you smell that anybody's going to do that to you, you know? <laughs> so I was more inclined to believe that, you know, it happened just for the simple fact because it was her that did the act on Right. Dee Dee. Do you know what I'm saying? Hold on. Goofy dumb goofy hoe bitch said she acted shocked and then was giddy as fuck. Then proceeded to say at this point she has it coming. The whole mess is vile. Agreed. So uh, the Dee Dee has it coming? Mm-hmm. Wow, Jen Chantel. Bren. But oh, if anybody says you have it coming, it's a whole fucking yeah. meltdown, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Of, co- of course. Jen Brown said, why would you release a teaser of something so intense and bad? That's, a, I mean, look. 
I don't know. We're There's just been about, a lot of talk about that. Like, yep. why are you even teasing this? This is getting really serious. Like, yep. Drop it all or go to the police. I'm seeing those uh, comments. but And I've also seen people say, you know what? Maybe we've already heard the sex story. Basically, it's just Dee Dee confirming that it's it happened and saying, you know, basically telling it. She told the same story well, that Chantel told. I mean, I say go ahead and play it because I do find it interesting that, yeah, it really much is the same story. Down it's to Chantel getting sick, her being back and forth from the couch to the bed. The whole part about um, not her backing out on going to see to meet Dee Dee's mother. Like, yeah, come to find out Chantel told the truth. <laughs> Chantel told the truth about it. But, I mean, that doesn't change anything. I mean, it didn't prove anything nothing in the way that Chantel responded let's skip on to Chantel's reaction right to hearing Dee Dee tell the story right how smug she was about it and how she feels like she was vindicated vindicated from what exactly girl hey but this is moist gun <laughs> gun come sewage splurge oh, Jesus Christ <laughs> Jesus <laughs> hello there but <Badussie. laughs> auntie m good morning good morning to you guys Wow. She said that Nader's mom being sick is his fault for him being a liar. Who said that, Chantel? Val Gal said that. I guess Chantel said that. Yeah. Hey, Auntie M. Hey, Val Gal. Okay, so let's move on to Chantel's reaction to Dee Dee's video. I don't think there's any reason. If you want to listen to the video, I do have Sam's uh, bar lounge pinned to the top, and I'm going to keep it there because that's where he's going to be dropping the clips anyways, and I feel like it's very important that we are all – subscribed and have our little bells on so we can hear all this shit mm -hmm. i did hear that jessica mesca was also live and i was not interested jessica mesca here's my word of advice to you in the future read the room and wait your turn what are you doing yeah it's <laughs> not your turn yet <laughs> you played such a small role in this mm. nobody really cares yeah, you know what i mean live get out of here you know if anybody supports nodder now like we've been saying this Fucking dude jessica we've been mesca. saying it Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kelly. Okay, let's get into Chantel's reaction. You have to behave, Flabera. <laughs> this was the next morning. Bright, and I don't know if it was bright and early, but obviously she was just fresh out of bed. Hey, Fiend. <laughs> Look at her picture up there. Wait, when was this? The next day after that oh, audio was that released. Mm -hmm. The next morning. Mm -hmm. Confirming the um, threesome. Yeah. yeah. Debbie. Look how swollen her face was. Entertainment. That's all you want, isn't it? I'm going to take off her unfiltered pic for now. Hmm. Good morning, everyone. Look at her. Hey. Why are you in here? Ugh. Hi, guys. No. Everything's not okay. She's only been up, or she only slept for a you couple got married, hours. Abby? Oh my god, congrats. At this point. Oh, just Charlotte, he's reached a new level of pathetic. And I just want to point Saturday, that out yeah. because here's the thing. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, yeah, Oh my god. CPAP okay, whenever I've seen the yes. picture of him kissing her, they look like fucking dumb and dumber. <laughs> this, okay, she hold on, like hold on, hold on. The bad mullet cut and he yeah, how did I forget that? How the fuck did I forget that? Thank you so much for Tell reminding me, Chantel. Little. Imagine Dee Dee's neighbor screaming for him to mm -hmm. shut up. Amy, I'm surprised she hasn't got her ass in a world of trouble mm -hmm. living with that psycho. Remember when he stayed in that trap house and he was getting complaints from his neighbors and it was a whole thing because of how loud he was? Yeah, mm -hmm, and they were mm -hmm. making it out to, at first, in my recollection, making it out like the neighbor or the housemate or whatever was the problem, that he was crazy. No, it was not her. <laughs> Oh, wrong button. <laughs> Black Ops drop a belated birthday, the 17th song, and not fucking gay. Absolutely. And happy late birthday to you. 17th birthday? No, the 17th yesterday. Oh, on the 17th. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Follow along. Happy birthday. Sam. I'm not fucking I'm gay. gay. So Dee Dee and Nodder confirmed that they were an actual couple and they kissed on camera. Mm -hmm. So this is her response to that. Her seeing them kiss on camera and admit that they're a couple and they're together. I forgot about that. God, there's been so much that happened. That's why I said we're going to be all over the place trying to recap this shit. Hold on. Let me just take it back just a tad. Go ahead, Chantel. Tell us. Tell us how you feel about it. Oh, my God. Okay, whenever I've seen the picture of him kissing her, they look like fucking Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> she looks like Jeff Daniels with a bad mullet cut and he looks like Lloyd Christmas. I'm blocking you. No, I'm not blocking anyone right now. Screw that shit. You will wait your turn. So happy birthday to your daughter, Popper Lives. Hello, Joni, Charlotte. 
And then the fucking, it looked fake. And then the fucking necklace with Debbie. Did you say it looked fake? It looked fake. They're just, mm -hmm. he's just doing it to make me jealous, guys. This is her foreplay. Mm -hmm. Keep this in mind. You can tell it's her foreplay, dude. At the end of the day, I don't care what has been said, what has been done. If Nodder was to call her and say, hey, let's go hotel beads, she would drop it all and do it. Also, I can tell that she tapped it back and watched that kiss many, many times because she talks in detail like about the way she like put her arm around his yep, neck and stuff yep. like that. Mm, she obsessed over it for mm -hmm. sure. For sure, hundred percent. Dude, do you not remember us making fun of Debbie? Fucking what's her face? And you're like Debbie, Debbie. Now your new wife is a Debbie. <laughs> she looks like a hermit crab out of it, so. And am I in shock? I'm in shock that he had to do this next move to keep himself relevant. Yeah. Like we all been new. I like that term now. We all been new. I've been nervous her using the, the term. We all been new. I, I saw wish... a post about that somewhere. Can she stop using reaction channels lingo? Girl. Like you are the creator here, Chantel. You are Chantel. Mm -hmm. You stay in the pasture. Yeah, We're out here. Stay in the pasture, dude. Stop it. No, I didn't hear any leaked audio. Ew. What was it? Her con her confirming the three. Of course, I didn't lie about that. Hey, Why would I lie child. about going down? On is, that Richard, is that our Richie? And that's your wife now. Richie, is that you? If it, it is, cold, congratulations. Cold and clammy. <laughs> I don't want to say that. Blank ones up with you. Do I was cold not. and clammy and I hate it and I was miserable. And you made me freak out. That whole experience. I freaked out in Cuba. She's talking so about how cold and clammy Dee Dee's that <clears throat> was. <laughs> Colleen. You know why it was cold. It was cold. like going down on a corpse. <laughs> you know why it was cold and clammy? Because she wasn't turned on by Chantel, I guess. I well, don't know. Well, that now, I mean, listening to that audio of Dee Dee tell the story really is helpful because it did, uh, does add more detail and context. He had her take a shower and then go lay in the bed with a blindfold on. And then he had to go get Chantel and coax her ass in there. She was laying on that bed fresh out of the shower. <laughs> yeah, Nodder set this all up. I don't think either of For these women, this is, this is not what either of them wanted to do. It's just. No. Yeah, he set this all up, dude. Like, imagine, like, what kind of sicko do you have to be to to take these women with the lowest of low self esteem and get them to what be like your what sex slave or something? I mean, <laughs> Dee Dee literally signed up for it though. Yeah, no, dude. Dee Dee's obviously got mental mental issues, serious mental issues. She's just able to she was able to mask them for a while, but it didn't last very long. Mm right when they announced it there you go so now that they're so they they admit their lies when they're forced to basically wet crack uh they weren't forced to do anything dummy yeah and they didn't admit reason. that was a leaked phone call she's so stupid yeah there you go was i lying about that oh jennifer corvina thank you very much she sees she acts like she's been vindicated yeah, vindicated yeah. for what yeah look at that smug ass look on her yeah. face and also again don't forget she this is 9 35 a.m saturday morning she literally rolled out of bed to be a smug cunt yeah <laughs> yeah exactly that the word the audio is Didi confessing him sleep sleep oh 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 so now they confess to sleeping together so so I have written confirmation hey, Angel that you Cakes. said you Thank don't you sleep with her. Member. I don't, bitch. I have those you messages. So that's proof that you're a fucking scammer. Because you were scamming me the whole time, promising me, really after, oh my god, only someone evil could watch somebody go through what I went through with him? Like, willing to take your abuse and everything? To be lied to over and over? That is fucked up. She said she got diarrhea when she was nervous. Ew. <laughs> 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 Please give me a panel now. What? Tracy, what happened? Bay Bay agreed. Are they fucking for real? They're so disgusting. And you know what? All you're doing, you're not making me mad. You're not making me jealous. You're just confirming everything I knew about you was right. Hey, All Christy. of the lies everyone's ever warned me about you are right. Are right. Tracy, I know. Can you imagine? All your lies were true. Uh, and you're just proving that you... I was vindicated after all. <laughs> Why don't I feel bad? Vindicated for what? I mean, I'm not following along. What do you think she's vindicated for? Because she told the story she and now... she just so desperately wanted people to believe, one, that she had sex with Nodder, and two, that the threesome thing happened. Mm -hmm. But she, yeah. The way Dee Dee said, well, you know that Nodder has his ways when talking them into mm -hmm. doing the dirty. Mm -hmm. uh, tattoo my toes. The phone call was disgusting. Maybe we should listen to it. Well, yeah. I feel like we should go back. And, she, and that's that is Dee Dee saying that to Jennifer Corvina. As yeah. if, like, you know, you, like, I don't you know how he you. is. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know how he is. Hold on. Let's listen to the conversation. Hell. 
we gotta we gotta cover this shit the way that we can cover it man and with that yeah, listen as a conversation i feel like we're like did you hear that part did you hear that part and people are like no maybe mm. or maybe i did listen to it maybe i missed it you know i don't know again sam's uh bar lounge is pinned to the top of the chat please go subscribe and turn on the bell back to montreal if you want I look at him, and he's like, you know, like, I don't mind, or whatever, do you, what do you think, did he, and I'm like, Bleh. like, you know, okay, do you know that she went to the, okay, I have to start from the beginning, she ended up going to the police station, she did that, right, she did that, she gave the statement and all that, <sighs> anyway, so she came, to, I had to, gone to Pennington's, because it was this closed store, because I had to buy underwear for my mom, or whatever, and when I came back, when so Pennington's must be like a real popular thing back down there, huh, in Canada. Is everybody getting their undies at Pennington, huh? Yeah, we're old fat people, I guess. We, <laughs> we tap the desk down a little bit. Yes, babe. We said, like, she's going to come and she's going to pick up the clothes she wants because I don't know it's too much. And I don't know that. I said, okay, whatever. I guess. Whatever. Uh, okay. You know, Natter is very, like, not the best thing to do, Natter, but okay. Right? So I come back from the store and she, I see the car parked and she's already inside and she's sitting on the bed. And I'm like, okay, hey, you know, and Natter was, like, in his... Right. You, you got to understand this. So she goes to, to Pennington's or whatever... And while she's gone, Nader let Chantel mm -hmm. not only into Dee Dee's apartment, but did she just not say that Chantel was sitting on her bed? Wait, are we at Dee Dee's apartment already? Yeah, she's already oh, there. Okay. Follow along and keep up. Hold on, let me tap it back. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Door and I see the car parked and she's already inside and she's sitting on the bed and mm. I'm like okay hey you know she's already inside and she's sitting on the bed like Chantel why are you on Dee Dee's bed number one that is fucking weird oh and Nada was like in his like lying down stressed out this and that I didn't know you know and so I'm just trying, like, I don't no, like uncomfortable the trap they're not in they're not at Dee Dee's yet oh this was happening at the trap yeah this is before Chantel says well I can take you back mm. yeah so she went to Pen she went to Pennington's. And so wow. because they were going back to Montreal that day and then supposed to meet Dee Dee's mom the next day. So she was getting undies for her mom for the next day. The whole time I listened to this, I thought that it was in Montreal in mm -hmm. Dee Dee's apartment. Are we sure? Yes. Tap. Yep. Just listen. So I'm like trying to, you know, I'm just talking, you know, talking with her. And, and then she's like, she's I took out all the clothes. I showed her all the clothes. I went downstairs. All the way There was a big, big, big See, pile of clothes downstairs. The, clothes the laundry. We brought that up. So we're going to go through. And I said, so she's like, oh, if you guys want, I can drive you back to Montreal, if you don't mind. If you're okay, if you're okay with that, and we can mm -hmm. maybe grab something to eat. And I looked at Nader, and I was like, you know, you know, okay. Uh, and I'm like, oh, my God, okay. Pause. You know? Because remember, the day before this and the day she went to Cuba, she disappeared. That was that Sunday. Yeah. She disappeared. And then when she pops back up, and she gets her channel back and everything, and she's going to Cuba, we knew she, yeah, I mean, we knew she had taken them back. But she so I pulled them. It. But the threesome happened in Dee Dee's bed. Yes, she, so this is in Gatineau. Yeah. She's getting, she, Chantel's there to pick up her clothes that yeah. she left over because he is going to Montreal. Right. Chantel turns and says, I can take you all back to Montreal. I'll drive you. And Dee Dee is claiming she's like, eh, not the best idea. And Which I believe. Right. And Nader's like, no, it's fine. It'll save us money. We got to go anyway. Let's just go. Yeah. And so she's saying how in the car, Chantel's really nice and says, do you want to get something to eat when we get to Montreal? Okay. And then in Montreal is where Dee Dee pays for the subs, gets the wine, and then they're at Dee Okay. Okay. Shh. Okay. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? Are we? He's like, well, why not? They will save money, and, you know, I need her to be on my side. And I'm like, okay, whatever. Okay. I mean, I, I, when that or you can't. So she drove us back to Montreal. And then, but she's super nice in the car, da, da, da. but she still thinks of me and that. We're just friends. We don't hook up. We're just fucking, 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 fucking at that point. Huh? She's saying how Chantel still at this point doesn't even know where Chantel like she was like this the whole friends. time. Yeah, the whole time. So they were more than just friends from the which we knew. We knew. Yeah. We knew Chantel just for whatever reason would not believe it. I mean, even to this day, she probably would say they're just friends. She's mm -hmm. that dumb. Um, that also explain. Hold on. That also explains in the beginning why Dee Dee was paying for two hour long Uber rides to Gatineau to spend days on end with him because. This, I believe that this was a, like a BDSM dom sub uh, sexual type um, arrangement between Dee Dee and Nader from day one. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I've said that for a while. Yeah. So then she's like, well, do you have anything good to eat in, in you know, Montreal? I'm like, yeah, there's a good sub place. So I'm, in my head, she's like, drive us to Montreal, you know, get us. Okay, you want to, you know, come, we'll order, we'll pick up something, come back here, eat, and you'll go home, you know, and then that's it. Like, and she's supposed to go to Cuba and all that stuff, right? 
So in the car, he's like, I'm trying, Pamela. <laughs> we picked up, I know it was a good sub place, whatever. We picked up subs. We, I'm like, okay. <sighs> and then uh, right before we got to my house, he's like, oh, we need some wine. And I'm like, wine. Okay, if you want. Okay. Uh, so I, I paid for the subs and all that. I'm like, oh, Chantal, okay. It was nice of you to drive us and I'll pay for the subs. And and then he wanted wine. So I'm like, okay, I'll get you. She's so fat. Fuck, she's like 400 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I love that part. <laughs> but she's even saying she's seen her in person. Yeah. Yeah. She knows the tea. I paid for the subs and all that. I'm like, oh, Chantal, okay. It was nice of you to drive us and I'll pay for the subs. And and then he wanted wine. So I'm like, okay, I'll get you. She's so fat. Fuck, she's like 400 pounds. Like literally, like she can't even. And she's, I said, okay, I'll go get it. Let's get out of the store. I she had to be the one to go in and get it because, fuck, she's like 400 pounds. She's so fat. <laughs> I go to the get wine, come back. Go to the, they come, come back here. Why does Chantel have to eat through everything that she does? Can you imagine? Like, this yeah, is insane to me. Like, that is always her main objective. If anything, she's going to eat, bitch. We eat a bit. Not much because whatever. And then I'm like, do you guys want wine? Yes. Okay. Start drinking. Chantal was like, non stop. Didn't even ask. We went into my fridge whenever she wanted. I love that part, too. <laughs> god damn kept pouring herself glasses of wine i think in a half an hour she had like five glasses of wine big glasses so then she was drunk natter being natter because he always said oh one day you know chantal's gonna eat your pussy you know chantal's gonna eat your pussy one day why would you say that natter why would why would you say that that's so gross mm -hmm. he's been after this from day one yeah he has that sick fuck yeah, i swear to god chantal's gonna eat your pussy and i'm like what the fuck are you talking about like I, you know so he pulls me aside and he's like, go take a shower and go put on something sexy. I'm like, what do you think she's going to do? I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, you know? So I was drinking and we're smoking up. I was smoked up. I just need it, like, just to kind of, like, deal with the situation. I'm just trying to, like, what the fuck is going on, you know? Mm -mm. And he has a way about Pause. Him. This you is know. where I feel like Didi's not being entirely truthful. I think Didi was down with this. Oh, he has been down with this. From day one, totally fine. It's a kink thing. She admits she was drinking and smoking. But now tell the story. Oh, I just uh, I have a drink and smoking just to deal with the situation. What, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Chantel's going to eat my... Mm -mm, mm -mm, no, she's been down with it from day one. Stop and smell the roses. Happy birthday to you. I'm kind of embarrassed, too. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm trying to take it all in. Honestly, I'm like not in touch with the chat. I'm just kind of like letting it. I've heard this already. Obviously, I didn't hear it the way you heard it, you know, but it's it's a lot. It really is a lot. I'm just saying she's doing a lot of separating herself from the the whole act of the three of them being sexual together. Yeah. And I'm just not buying it. I yeah. believe she's into it hundred percent. I think she probably like um did say, Okay, fine, listen, if you ever uh get this to happen between the three of us, um, I'm not putting my face in it. Cause you you don't hear it that he pressured her to do that. Yeah. Chef, thank you for the super chat. Like George Costanza eating a sandwich during it. <laughs> <laughs> I think for sure I not definitely familiar. can believe that Dee Dee wanted to to get it on with Chantel for the fact that she absolutely was obsessed over Chantel enough to steal this bum away from her mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well yeah and i think she was also willing to do it you know also to please her dom right yeah mm -hmm. uh, yeah i believe so 100 percent. so i take a shower and then he's like now put on something sexy go in the bedroom put a blindfold on exactly how chantel told the story yes and so chantel then she comes just drunk well, tipsy very tipsy <laughs> comes in the room she starts eating me out God! Ugh. Ugh. Chalky raspberries are gonna get a damn infection. I fake, like, you know, but then. She fakes it. Did you hear that? She faked it. Girl, give me a break. He put, then he starts eating me out after her, and then she freaks out. She starts, well, she, she probably did fake it. Okay. I believe that, because I guarantee you Chantel did not know what she was doing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Chantel's, yeah, yeah, I can, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I fake, like, you know, but then he put, then he starts eating me out after her and then she freaks out she starts she's freaked out because i guess she thought you know because he, he was in his own state right he was in a state he was in a so state then she's freaked out. Then they were fighting each other. And i'm trying to calm down the situation i'm like okay calm down guys let's yeah you know like he was into it yeah yeah oh yeah just like you know okay you, you were all drunk or a bit to uh, hide da, 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 you know and uh i calmed down the situation and the entire night the whole night was just him trying to get us again to have like three and stuff but she was pissed she was pissed because she's like you know Fuck you, DD. I know you're fucking sleeping with her. I know you have it. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm saying, no, we haven't. We didn't. I'm just trying to, you know, we're just in a scenario, whatever, you know, trying to like fucking calm this down. How fucking weird, dude. <laughs> Could you imagine? Just put yourself in that moment. Just, yeah. Just do it. Could you imagine being DD and even after? Just, and none of this makes any sense. Seat. 
and not her. What's the point? Jump, having to jump up from the bed, rip your blindfold off to calm the situation down, which is... <laughs> rip your blindfold off! <laughs> no, for real! I forgot about the she goddamn had, yeah, blindfold. Yeah. She had to jump up off that bed, naked from the waist <sighs> down at least, probably wearing some little teddy. I bet it was red. That's God. what I'm picturing. Oh, what if right? it was Chantel's oversized teddy on her body? <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh my god yeah yeah dude. but could you imagine that jumping up ripping your blindfold off and having to calm Chantel down who's in the middle of out. a threesome we didn't have we've never had sex Chantel yeah. blah, blah, blah. no no that was the first time you ever my pussy I swear <laughs> <laughs> first time you ever ate it too <laughs> how very uncomfortable <laughs> hey Krabby Joe thank you for being a member oh god what would they say? No, not, they didn't say anything. I'm just thinking about getting back into the phone call. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, hold on. The guppy says, am I the only one who doesn't talk actual sex details with girlfriends? I don't. It's like, weird. Isn't it weird? That's what I'm saying. Like, why is Dee Dee even having this conversation with a Jennifer stranger? Of all people, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Mod or not. This is still a bitch from the internet. What are you doing? Yeah, no, no. I've never <laughs> sat down and have it. I don't, like... Maybe when I was really, really younger, maybe in some kind of details. But as far as being an adult, I, I just know it's not for me. He's trying to, f and I had to see my mom today. Like I had to go see my mom today. And that was supposed to meet my mother and my brother today. It was planned. It was planned. At 12 o'clock today, we were supposed to, she's five minutes away. We're going to walk there and he's going to meet my mom, you know? So the whole night, she, and then she threw up. She threw up after she, after she, he saw her, she saw him. <laughs> she got so upset. She puked. You know what that's like? <laughs> you ever watch South Park when I think it was, is it Stan? <laughs> Every time Stan sees uh, his girlfriend, he pukes. <laughs> it's fucking Chantel, dude. Eating me out. She got sick and she started throwing up. So she threw up. But because, and, then, and then he's like, okay. And then she goes to lie down in my bed. And then he's like, okay, go ahead and eat her pussy. And I'm like, I, she's sick. She just threw up. Fuck, you know? Like, what do you mean? Like, he's fucked up. And I'm like, are you? No. Oh, she's playing a game. She's playing a game. Trust me. She wants this. She wants, you know, she wants you. And then I'm like, oh my God, this is fucking crazy. You know? Wonder Woman. Thank so the entire night she's going from the bed. Then she's like, then I'm in the couch and they're in the bed. Then I, then, then, then I, I couldn't take it. I'm, and I hear them giggling and laughing and. Then I hear him. Like, Is there a chargeable offense for being a mark in Canada? Why? The indignation now. That's they a... got got by an entire asshole. Mm -hmm. I, do, I don't fucking know, man. It's so crazy. Then he's like, Thank you for the bed. There's three of us in the bed. Then he's like, trying, like, you know, try to eat her out. Like, trying to eat her. I'm like, she's not feeling well. She keeps saying she's sick. She's sick. She's sick, you know? But then she's giggling with him. And... So love... she pukes, and Nader is like, get back to it. Like, let's get back to. Um, I love the fact that Dee Dee was able to escape going down on Chantel. I really do love that for her. I really do. I'm, I'm happy for you at Dee Dee. Mm. I went and wished that on my worst enemy, okay? So, the entire night. All this is just kind of sad. Barbara agreed. But can we learn the lessons from everything that we've seen with Chantel and Dee Dee and Nodder about having higher expectations and setting the bar a little higher as far as like especially for women and we've said this we speak for women because we are women right mm -hmm. this is not the first case where i've seen a woman lower their standards and get with some bum some degenerate some abuser learn from these people's mistakes okay have higher standards it's totally fine to raise your standards be single for a while Dude. if you're in a relation like relationship like this get the fuck out it's not worth it. Then the morning comes. Having dick is not worth. <laughs> if you've got it, if your life is stressful, just say to yourself, it ain't worth it. Even if it's good dick, it's still not worth it. Not worth it. At the end of the day, if your partner doesn't bring peace and bring something to the relationship, it ain't worth it. I think this is after the night she went back the day after and did it again. Think about that. They did this again. Did they do this more than once? I think so. So did Dee Dee actually go down on Chantel? I don't know. No, God, I don't know. We haven't heard like, that from Like Chantel, not sleeping, so you know, just I'm back and forth, no. like stupid did you get And I'm like, I, I, so then 10 o'clock comes around and I'm like, okay, um, Natalie, we have to get ready. We're gonna... Yeah, I think so. I think you're behind. Oh, you're really, no, you're not that behind, but yeah, I did. Natter's a type to try to fuck Dee Dee's mom for she sure. Should. As gross as that sounds, like that poor woman is in a nursing home, but absolutely. Mm -hmm. Good morning, support group. Can I get a happy birthday shout out with some jams this morning? I'm 33 today. Happy 33rd birthday, Annie J. They did do it twice. Speaking of degenerate ass men, did you see the post going around on some news article about the uh, 
what's it called when you deli- when you go into the C-section, the anesthesiologist? Oh mm, my God. That stuck his penis in a woman's mouth while she was on the table. They got video footage of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Under anesthesia. Yep. Can you fucking imagine that? Like, what is this world? Ugh, it's just gross. Anyways, continue. I have to go see my mom. Are you crazy? I can't go in the state. And this and Chantal didn't want to leave. She's like, well, I want to leave. I want to go. I should go home. But I'll come back. You know, I'll come, I'm just going to go check out my cats and have a couple hours of sleep. But I'll come back now. Don't worry. Like, she thinks, like, because all this happened, they're back together again, you know? And that's exactly how Chantel thinks. Every time something happens between them two, they're back together in a relationship. I'm like, oh, hold on. Absolutely, I'm not even, I'm not that's even, right. So then. That guy will go to jail probably for a long, long time. I'm mad. I'm fucking pissed because I'm like, I have an attitude too. Like when I, I'm like, so you're going to, so he's like, I can't go see your mom. Debbie, I can't, you know? And then he's kind of cuddling with Chantal while I'm getting ready to go see my mom in the bed. <laughs> okay. Stop. Pause. <laughs> Picture that scene again. The next morning, there's been no sleep. Chantel was up drunk and hysterical all night while Nodder was trying to get them back into the bed and doing threesome things again all night, which was the second uh, threesome the same night. Anyway, regardless, it's now the next morning. Dee Dee has to be up early to get ready to go visit her mom, which Nodder is supposed to come with her. And Dee Dee, er, um, sorry, Dee Dee's getting ready, you know, shower, dress, whatever, you know. Nodder and Chantel are cuddling in her bed. We cannot skim past that part. It's crazy. It's insane, man. Could you imagine? No. You're up there in the bedroom getting dressed, getting showered. There's some place you and me need to be to yeah. meet your mom. <laughs> and I'm cuddling in the bed with the 400-pound wildebeest. I can imagine a life like that. I couldn't. I could not imagine that, dude. Just think about it. All of it is so insane. It's it's even beyond something you'd see in the movies. It really is. And it's, it's beyond even for Chantel. Yeah. So I go up to him, and I'm like, listen. If you disrespect my mom, you know, that's not, it doesn't work for me. If you know, she's waiting. She, my brother's coming there too, because he wants to meet you. Like my mother's waiting. She wants to meet you. It's been planned all week. So, like, so she is, has told all of her family that she is with this man, <laughs> that this prize man that she is so proud of. Yeah. She wants her mother to meet her him. Brother's her coming. brother is coming and he's going to meet Nader mm-hmm. El Shami. To the nursing home where their dying mother is lying on her deathbed. So she really thinks of Nader like some kind of catch. Anything to have a man. It's not It's not only about the dick. It's just the presence and the appeal that having a man by your side brings to, I don't know, what, your ego? What is it? I don't know. That and is... She ends up going without him. He stays behind with Chantel. And, and fuck that Chantel. Is, and that's when Chantel when, pissed all in the bed. Yeah, while she was gone. How gross, dude. Can't, uh, don't do this. I love you, Debbie. You know I love you. And, you know, come give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give me a hug. And I do respect you. I know. I said, if you choose, you think I'm going to go see my mother? And I know you're going to be here alone with Chantal? Is she going to fuck her brains out while I'm at my mother's when you're supposed to yes. be there? Yes. That's exactly what happened. God, I mean, I just, wow. So mind-blowing. It's so mind-blowing, all of it. You know? Anyway, he didn't say, he's like, oh, don't do that. It's okay. Don't do that. You know? I got ready. I had to go. I had to go. I had, my mom's waiting for me. Like, I'm not going to disrespect. I have to, you know? So I go to my mom's. Then I get all these messages from Chantal, voice messages. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. What happened last night? She was driving all the way on her way home already. I was at my mom's for like two hours. And she's like, I'm on my home. Telling me he's a fucking asshole. Da, 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 da. I know you guys were fucking. I know what happened yesterday. It was going to be a secret between us. And and thank you for everything you did. But he's a fucking ass. And don't. And when you left, he calls you a fucking bitch anyway. I just want you to know that. Da, 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 da. And tell Natter to listen to all the messages that I sent him, you know? So I'm at my mom's. I'm like, okay, I come home. She's gone. Obviously, he's sleeping. Then he's like, obviously, come here, come here, come here. And I'm like, I'm cleaning the house. The house is a mess because, like, you know, wine, glasses, this, that. I'm like, so I clean my house. I'm not, I can't leave it like that. So she comes home from her mother's. Chantel's gone now, but she's sent them both multiple messages, multiple yep. messages. Yep. Basically told Dee Dee, yes, he <laughs> fucked the shit out of me in your bed while you were visiting your mom. He also called you a stupid bitch. Bye. <laughs> no. So she she walks in, Nodder's knocked out, that worthless piece of shit, probably smelling like wine and Chantel's pussy. And San Chantel's pussy. Exactly. Ugh. The whole, the whole God, he's drenched in it. Yeah. Yes, I, gar- the I be- can feel my skin girl, crawling. Girl, the whole condo smells like cigarettes, Stinks. alcohol, and Chantel's pussy. Yes. God. He's in the bed. BB She's on trying everything. to clean up, probably mortified, has had no sleep. How very exhausting and just 
horrible. She just had to sit with her mother and brother <laughs> knowing what was going on in her bed back at her condo. And this motherfucker's in the bed talking about, come here, come here. Give me a kiss. Sit on my face. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Sherry B, they're so gross. Good morning, Yab and Sham support group. I got a job. I was after work from home. Congratulations, Ooh, congratulations. Sherry. He got slimmed by Chantel. Ugh. Come in the bed. Come in the bed. I'm like, no, I want to clean my house. Stop. You know, this is a fucking Valley house. house and and goes, oh, because of me. Eh? And he starts, you know, he starts. Da, 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 da. I'm like, okay. Then he gets mad at me. Then he makes up with me. You know, he's like, you know, are we gonna sign a contract? And you know, you're my bitch. And you know, you're my head. And you know, you're my number one. You know, you're like, not number one. Like, whatever. He didn't say that. But he's like, you know, and. Uh, and he's like, don't ever do that again. And don't talk like that again. And uh, and I'm like, well, she sent me messages. Here's what she said. And then I said, apparently she sent you a bunch of messages. She sent him like 12 messages, voice messages. Ah, you fucking asshole. I know that you were with the DD. I can see you ate her out. And I can tell you're naked in front of her. And she's naked in front of you. You've obviously been fucking. And you're not telling me. You know, like she's pissed. Uh -huh. And she did say yesterday she was going to rent a hotel room in Montreal for tonight and tomorrow. She said that. She said that yesterday. She wasn't sure she was going to Cuba. She's not sure. She's not sure, you know. Anyway, so that's it. So when I got home, and then uh, he, we listened to the messages that she sent him, and she's cursing him out, but in a way where you can tell she's cursing him out, but still loves him and still wants to. You're an asshole. You're a fucking asshole. I know you're. And I was ready to come. I swear this weekend I was going to tell you I want to find an apartment with you and this and that and, and, and you know. Mm -hmm. So we listened to it, so and then there he's was like, come here, come here. Talk about Chantel me. finding an apartment with him in Montreal. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then he goes, and of course we fuck, you know. And you're, you know, we're going to sign a contract together. You and you, you know that, and that, and don't ever do that again. And I'm your dom, you know that, and then that, you don't just, you know. Part? Which After part? all that they're arguing, he's mad, then they make up, and they're listening to Chantel's messages, and it's all very emotional between she and Nader. She goes, and then, of course, we fuck. And then there's talk of, then they sign the contract. He is definitely, uh, Nader is definitely a sexual deviant predator. Oh, he's definitely a deviant. Yeah, sexual mm -hmm. deviant predator. A hundred percent. Yeah, I believe everything. Anything that anybody has ever said, I think at this point, mm -hmm. I, I would I mm -hmm. would more believe them than not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's just constantly fucking walking around with his dick hard is what it seems like mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Putting it in whatever, you know, whoever he can. And that's yeah. pretty fucking gross. Control yourself. Yes, Dee Dee signed the contract with Nodder. The, the contract something. don't the contract literally can wipe your ass. It means nothing. No, but I mean I'm just saying, but between them it's supposed to mean something. Like if you're in that lifestyle and you enter into a Dom sub contract relationship with somebody, it is to be taken very seriously. Yeah. Okay, was that the end of it? You know, because I, I was mad. I'm oh. like, you're disrespecting my mother. And then he's like, how dare you say that I'm disrespecting her? You know, I respect her. And I'm like, and I, my mother, actually, when I went there, I pretended that Natter had, his mother wasn't feeling well, and he's not in the mood, and he wants to meet you for the first time. He doesn't want it to be like this date, you know? So I lied to my mother, and then I was like, can I make him a little video? So my mother fucking, I, you know, says like, hi, Natter. I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't meet you. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry about your mom. Like, I had to lie, and I'm like, fucking... I think he thinks by playing this role of a dom kind of dumbs down him being a sexual deviant predator by him referring yes. to himself as a dom. It takes yes. that part of it away. That's all an act to disguise what he really is, which is a sexual deviant predator. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people in the chat saying the contract's not worth shit. You're not understanding. Like, it's not a legally binding contract. The contract that... And that's common in dom-sub yeah. relationships, right. especially when it's BDSM. Yeah. And they get really, really, you know, raunchy. They literally write it all out. Like, this is what I'm willing to do. This is what I expect of you. Mm -hmm. You know, and like, it, it's it's a real thing. Yeah, like, it's a thing. Don't, don't write that off or, you know, take any weight off of the contract thing. Like, don't shoo shoo it aside. Like, that's very important in this scenario because it really kind of gives you an idea. This was back in March. So Dee Dee and Nader have been in a dom sub contractual relationship since March. Mm -hmm. And he's clearly very aggressive. Chantel told us that day one. Did she day not? One. Day one. Day so one. So he's very aggressive sexually. And then to be actually like living with the person that he's that is his sub sub uh, and he's in a contract with them. Like, I'm sure there's a whole lot of stuff that Dee Dee has been put through mm -hmm. under the guise of oh we're in this incredibly sensual sexy yeah uh dom sub relationship and i signed the contract i agree to this yep 100 percent. jd she's speaking with an ex gruntled mod yeah an ex mod of nodders mm -hmm. jennifer corvina that's mm -hmm. who she's talking to that's who recorded the calls and that's who's leaking them
Yeah. Hold on. I love Kat says, but in a real BDSM relationship, there's always a safe word the sub can use whenever they've had enough. And there might be like, we don't know what their contract or yeah. you know, whatever rules yeah. are. I mean, dude, it's, I'm it's just saying, not her. Don't, don't, don't. Not probably it, like the contract between not and DD probably says like, you do everything I say, sign here. Probably. You know, that's probably it. You know, yeah, but like, don't dismiss the contract thing. Like that's important mm-hmm. to know. Mm hmm. I'm mean, almost bawling the fact that I had to lie and she's like wants to make a little video for him to say like don't worry and you know uh, I'll... here take the I gotta pee here take the keyboard here I'm gonna let it play and she's soon and uh... oh shit anyway shit, so that's God, it so I come home and, and that's it so we fuck twice <laughs> I gotta potty then everybody. Chantal writes a message like I know you still have stuff in my car because she left I guess abruptly and we still had um, a suitcase left in the car also did you catch that part where um chantelle messaged after she left to let him know there was still one suitcase in her car they had left conveniently left one suitcase in chantelle's car conveniently she signed her death warrant paperclip jennifer corvina sounds like a tv character Mm mm-hmm Hold on. Uh, how can a broke freeloading bum have the nerve to demand to be called daddy? Excellent question. How are you going to be a dom with no job? He's more like a bitch. Mm-hmm. Chantel even said something like that. Like, if you're going to be the dom, you should pay all the bills, which that's not necessarily the case either. Um. So does this contract witness by a notary? No, it's just something that it, people in that lifestyle do, especially when it's like, It is or has the potential to become like a hardcore BDSM type thing. Like, you know, expectations have to be set or whatever. But I think that um, Nodder, yes, I think just Nodder more so uses it as a tool to like get basically, you know, be able to get away with some really sick shit. I don't know. He has no safe word. I bet he's killed a woman before. He definitely stabbed one. Because you didn't bring everything in. Did you all catch Chantel say his front tooth has a cavity in it? Not sure if this is an addition to the one that is already missing in action. Goofy dumb, goofy hoe bitch. I did not catch that. You, I, do you guys believe I never watched or read Fifty Shades either? Oh, None of it. I, and Patience said, freaks. Did you watch some of it? I watched the movie and it was the worst shit I've ever seen. I heard it, the movie was really bad. It was horrible. And I would imagine the book would be, you know... Well, I and from what I've heard, the book and the movie both bad acting, bad writing, like the book itself is bad writing. But did you ever hear that Fifty Shades was supposed to be some like originally was some fan fiction off of Twilight or something like that? No, I haven't. But I mean, I could believe um, that for sure. Anyway, I didn't want to um, keep playing it while you weren't here. So I pretty much just talked to the chat. OK. And last night. Thank you. So she's like, I can come tonight on my way to Ricardo's Jose, whatever this fucking guy on OnlyFans is a parents want to fuck her or something like that. I'm going to see him to fuck him. So if you want me to drop off the stuff, uh, yeah, I can do it. And I'm like, what do you want me to say? And he's like, tell her, yes, tell her, sure, come. Because he, want, he wanted, obviously wanted the stuff. That's what I'm thinking in my head, right? <laughs> like, he just wants the stuff. So she messages at 8 o'clock. So she's like, okay, I'm leaving in an hour. And I'll, and he can come outside and pick up the stuff. And I'm done forever. That's what she wrote. Pick up this thing and I'm done forever. Yeah. Cause so did you hear the part on my where they conveniently forgot one suitcase in her car? Yeah. So yeah. she had to go back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Couch, we're cuddling we're watching a bit of tv whatever and then ding she's here so he puts on his jacket and stuff and i'm like okay just get the stuff come back <laughs> our lady chantelle so like this dom sub thing exists outside of the bedroom call me a kink shamer maybe i'm a prude but that's too far if you let your sex exist outside of the bedroom you're a whole freak <laughs> don't well, I care mean, yeah some sometimes it's out of the bedroom sometimes it's just in the bedroom i guess yeah thank you our lady chantel i guess teach their own you know as, as long as it's consensual and it's mm-hmm. not some like what this is this is obviously not even what a dom mm-hmm. sub looks like That'll you know so, no. yeah and I had to go to the bathroom. Because me, when I'm nervous, just the fact that she was here again made me nervous. I had diarrhea. That's me. <laughs> so That's... she's admitting she had to go to the bathroom and have diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. She's got I... the nervous shits. Yeah, I think this is leading into the second threesome. Hey, angel wings. Gross. I, I guess. Hold on. You know? So I'm in the bathroom, and then my doorbell rings. I'm thinking he's coming in just with a suitcase. No, she's back. <laughs> Chantel, God, you just have no shame. None. No shame. Is that your actual pick? You're funny. Could you imagine her just showing back up like, hey, it's me again. It's me, Chantel. Let me put a picture up for uh, (laughs) to help with that. There she is. She's back inside your home, Dee Dee. There's your girl. It's your turn. (laughs) Wow. Hold on. She brings her in again. 
I'm like, and she's like, I know you're probably the last person you want to see right now. She's fucking mentally fucked up, right? Mm -hmm. I know you're probably the last person I want to see. You both are. Mm -hmm. You want to see right now. Blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, when I'm fucking crazy, when I'm mad, I say stupid things. And, blah, blah, blah. and I'm like, okay. She sits there. She sits on my couch. She's smoking, smoking a joint. I just smoked a joint. I didn't take any. I didn't want. I'm like, no, you know. Then he's like, she's like, okay, well, I'm renting a hotel room. I got to go. It's like 11 o'clock now. And I got to go. Uh, I have to rent a hotel room. I'm like, whoa, which hotel? Oh, it's downtown. It's called Moville in Montreal. I'm like, oh, yeah, I know that one. And she's like, yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow because tomorrow's a birthday. Now's a birthday, I guess, Monday. So I said, okay, you know, uh, well, happy birthday. We're, we're watching the end of the Oscars because the Oscars are on. And then he's like, she's like, so I got to go because I got to go rent the hotel room, right? So, well, Nader, what are you doing? Do you want to pick it up? You want to get the, the suitcase now? Or do you want, because he left the suitcase and just brought her in. Huh. And I'm like, it's him. Mm -hmm. I got to call you back. Okay, stop. I think so this, it ended so, there. Yeah, I think what happened here was this was when she, Chantel told this story too. Yeah. That um he go, go he went to the hotel with her. Yeah. And Dee Dee was like, no, no, come back, come back. Yeah. I, that's what I thought when I heard uh -huh. the end of it. And it uh -huh. cut off. We that was a... his slick move to bring Chantel in and not the suitcase. So not he had to go out to the car with Chantel. And not he come played, back. Yeah, he planned that. Mm -hmm. I don't think they did a part two to this one, a follow up. But anyways, that's that, coming. I can't wait for it. I can't wait for all. It's interesting. I mean, as as crazy and like as you know, degenerate type shit it is. You can't turn away, especially these videos. Mm -hmm. I've really liked the most. You know, like Karen Dee Dee and her side of it. It's I don't know. I can't turn away. Her pic looks like my sleep. <laughs> Someone said it literally looks like a mugshot. Val Cal did. <laughs> Thank you, Alice, for the super chat. Yeah, um, so he did end up going to the hotel with her that night. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was totally that night. Let's move on. Imagine, wait, stop again. Again, once again, imagine being Dee Dee. Yeah. So this is the next night. So the first night would have been Saturday night, I guess. This was the next night. Yeah. The, I guess the night of he was supposed to go with Dee Dee to meet her mom and he didn't. And yeah. she comes back and has to clean up and Chantel's done pissed in the bed and he's covered in her pussy juice and. Oh, my God. Stinks. And OK, anyway. So Chantel's like, yeah, you, you forgot a suitcase. I'll go ahead and bring it back now. Eight o'clock at night. She even gives us that. Okay. Yep. Uh, ding. It's the doorbell. Immediately, you know, Dee Dee's all, she's just so, so distraught. She has to go shit. <laughs> <laughs> when she... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Get it a pen, Dee Dee. <laughs> Damn. So she goes and takes... I don't know who's worse, Dee Dee or Chantel. Mm, How did Nada end up with two fucking shit ass mm -hmm. bitches? <laughs> Go ahead. So when she comes out, surprise, Nada's brought Chantel in, back in the house, not the suitcase. They sit there. She smokes a joint. Surprise! Hints around that it's time to go because she's renting a hotel because tomorrow's her birthday. Dee Dee, what, did she go in the bathroom again? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Nada walks Chantel out. To get in, to get the suitcase and he never comes back, dude. You hear the key <laughs> peeling off me. <laughs> beep beep. <laughs> She'll probably beep beep. Other <laughs> way out. I got my man, bitch. bitch. I know I would have <laughs> stuck her fat little finger out the window. Oh my god, dude. And then Dee Dee is just left in the deafening like... silence of her apartment with the Oscars <laughs> playing in the uh... background. <laughs> 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 what did we say? Be one long fucking night for Dee Dee, dude. What did we say at the beginning about Nodder and Chantel? We have stuck by the fact that Nodder loves having sex with Chantel. Mm -hmm. He apps dead doggies is, mm -hmm. and I, I've always said that he's always like Chantel and what Chantel offers. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. I feel like he has to put on some kind of show. Because he's trying to uh, stay in with Dee Dee and her condo mm, and, and yeah. all the benefits that come with being with Dee Dee. But at the end of the day, I think that Nodder really, really does have some kind of kink fetish for Chantel, whatever it may be. Well, yeah, I, I agree 100 percent. The way she's he might even like the way that she smells like mm. some people are like turned on by that weird fucking freakish shit, dude. It might be her the smell of no, her body I'm that he likes. To, I'm going to back that up 100%. I agree with you 100% on that. Yes. Yeah. I mean, he keeps going back. He was obsessed with having Chantel and Dee Dee messing around. It's not like we've seen other women throw themselves in water. The Bunner Carbon says, no, Dee Dee went out and cried and they all went back in. Did that really? 
I Fuck. thought that's the day they went to the to the hotel. Anyway, about it, let's watch the latest video. We'll skip up one and then go back again. I know. <laughs> it's like, well. <laughs> Mar- Marie Smith said Samantha can paint a damn picture. <laughs> yes. I'm telling Good you, to dude. see Marie Smith. Hey, Krabby Joe. Okay, so this is a video that Chantel put out this morning because Chantel, again, once again, has not been to bed. She's been up all night, probably watching Nodder and Dee Dee's live streams, hearing everything that they have to say, watching reaction channels, reading the farms, putting together this video about her and the night of the cheese. What does she title it? Hold on. Humiliation fetish. Chantel let him degrade her. There's that too. Yep. The night of the cheese cubes. Yeah, that's a big one too. Mm. Slapping her in the back of the head, calling her a buffalo, things like that. Mm-hmm. And not only that, but Chantel can shower Nodder with gifts. You don't see Dee Dee gifting Nodder uh, a $1,700 iPad. You don't see Dee Dee supplying Nodder with all the. When's the last time you see Nodder have new clothes on? Yeah. You don't. When's the last time you seen Nodder with the new kitchen gadget? You don't. So he, yeah, while she might be paying the bills, she is not providing him the type of gifts that Chantel was. Nor does Dee Dee have a car. Nor does Dee Dee take uh, Nodder on trips <laughs> to hotels, fancy hotels, mm, to, uh, what was to it? restaurants. Tor- Toronto, to restaurants. Exactly. It all comes back to foodie beauty at the end of the day. Yes, it does. Hold on. I want to read this comment from The Sun is Upright. Do y'all think Amberlynn is just breaking pens as she feverishly writes in her journal now? She was so close to being relevant for about four seconds. <laughs> Look, as irrelevant as Amberlynn is, she t- she still pulls more views than foodie beauty. Mm, there's that. And I think that, you know, at the end of the day, people are will still always check in on Amberlynn and eventually. And that's why I titled, what did I title this stream? The end is coming or some mm-hmm. shit like that because dude i'm telling you eventually it's just Nodder's probably gonna go to jail he's probably gonna land himself in jail if it if it ain't the may thing that gets him there it will eventually happen with somebody else right i think it's gonna happen i think it's gonna happen sooner rather than later i think Nodder is seriously fucking around he's about to find out i yeah. have seen the prosecutor's uh email address all over twitter yeah they are starting a letter writing campaign I think it's a matter of time before Nodder's channel is completely yeeted off of YouTube. I think that's another thing that's coming. I think Nodder will go to jail or his channel will get yeeted. He'll go to jail and Chantel is going to be left with absolutely nothing to talk about because she based her entire channel for the last, what, year and a half about Nodder. talking about Nodder. And I do not think that she's going to be able to um, find another degenerate. Believe it or not, I, I just don't see it. Maybe. But the thing is, they have to have something that Chantel is attracted to. Something. It just can't be a man with a penis, right? Mm. She has to be somewhat attracted to bring them into her world. Like with Nodder, I feel like she was attracted to the fact that he was in shape. Mm-hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? his build. Yeah. His build. And, and his... he would feed her. Not all men will sit there and cook you know to the extent that he does on a regular basis yeah. and spoon feed it to her like. yeah and that kind of personality where he was like the man of the relationship i think she was really attracted to that do i think that Chantel will find that again absolutely not i feel like we are starting over from s- square one as far as starting to get back into the health cycles and i think people are going to get real bored of that real fast and then her channel is going to start to decline unlike the irrelevant Amberlynn Reed who can still pull more views than Chantel. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But anyways. Um, August 3rd is court and that's coming up. Two weeks? Oh, well, yeah. Let's watch the video. Mm-hmm. This is from Chantel early this morning. Once she's seen the uh, clip from uh, Sam's, Sam the cat, whatever, the lounge. Sam's lounge bar. Where it showed bar. the little clip of Dee Dee and Nodder and that what it sound like, you know, mm-hmm. Dee Dee in distress. So Chantel wanted to make sure to pull the attention away from Dee Dee. And do not forget that Dee Dee is not the victim, but me, Chantel Marie, is the only victim out of this situation. Hi, guys. I'm just going to put a trigger warning out hey, there for says, anyone who's been through any kind of domestic violence situation. This video or discussion may trigger you. Really? Foodie gets more views? Oh, well, I thought it was oh, Amber. Maybe because you know what? You know what makes... Chantel pull in the more views though Sinatra she, says because she has multiple streams live yeah, streams a day whereas Amber can do the one video a day uh what does that work smarter not harder <laughs> yeah hold on since we're paused though astronaut cat said Jade is servicing as a feeder she asked ALR to burp in her mouth it's getting pretty raunchy what? in the Amberverse as well yuck 
Well, we're going to have to start paying attention over there. I know what reaction channel not to go to for a reaction on Amber Lynn. Oh, my god! We'll talk about that later today yes. on my channel. You know what? Y'all better start paying attention to uh, old Amber Lynn, the way that Shan tells that. Uh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Uh, liver is poking mm, out of her yeah. stomach. There might not be a whole lot of Chantel to watch uh, much right. longer, if you know what I mean. Okay. Mm -hmm. The following clip. I don't know why I hang on to this. I watch it every so often just to remind myself not to go back to this horrible man for what he's put me through. And in particular, this clip is from a night where I was yelled at and verbally abused and had to placate my abuser for about six hours. What triggered this event is you will see a plate of food on the table um, in the second clip. Uh, the cheese was not cut symmetrically enough. And if you notice what you know about Natter now, if you see his face, um, very upset just the tone and everything um i do hear him yell at me as well um in briefly in the video as well is this so this is what i was able she just uploaded this she uploaded it this morning yes she did <sighs> right as i was about to go live yeah able to capture of this horrible horrible night for me and it's a night, unfortunately, I probably won't ever forget. I'm trying to. I actually have trauma counseling later today. So Hold I'm hoping that helps um, a bit. And again, hey, I'm just putting this out there just to share my Oh, experience. yeah, you, you told me not to forget that. Mm -hmm. So the calendar. Yeah. She did everybody too. did everybody hear that she said she has it today. But hasn't she been up all night? She's been up all night. Yeah. What time is the appointment supposed to be? She never said that I caught. I just knew it was going to be today. Mm -mm -mm. You can tell in her voice she hasn't slept, by the way, too. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sam or BBJ begging for food. Sorry. Anyone knows anything about Nodder is you. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, 100%. At the end of the day, let's not forget who bought, who brought this degenerate yes. to the forefront of YouTube. It was Chantel. And yeah. she knew what kind of person he was before she ever put the camera on him. Mm -hmm with you and i'm sorry if it triggers you are you okay is yeah. this was a very unpleasant night for me the cops ended up coming and i did do a story time on it horrible night so here comes. so if you've done a story time and you've already told us about this uh event that happened in your life why are we telling it again sam why is she telling the story again? Because she has to be the center of attention. It has to be her. She has to be the ace number one victim. Nobody can be the victim of the day, the victim of the hour. It's going to have to be Chantel. Absolutely, 100%. At all times. Just also know I was basically trying to film for him a video for his channel that I set up and spent hours. There goes more uh, admission that Chantel, that you are the one that brought Nodder. Mm -hmm. You set up his channel. He didn't mm -hmm. know anything about YouTube. Probably mm -hmm. didn't know how to put an ad did it in. All for him. Can't even do a thumbnail. You did it all, and you still continued after all the shit that happened with Nodder. Would still edit. Hell, it was what the last time they were together was what like a recently. Month? Recently that you were editing, uploading, doing thumbnails for this man. But tell us your story, please. First, trying to film for him. Ham and Hat I bought all the food in the video. Second time uploading this clip. Thank you, Ham Hat. Second time uploading the clip. Video exactly, as well. And an he arc. still has the audacity and sense of entitlement to treat me the way he did this evening. You first. Slop. That is, does look like slop. What is that shit? That looks like complete trash. Look at the way he's looking at her. Wait, what'd that say? He blamed me for how his food looked. Mm. Ugh. Move the um, <laughs> yeah. pause. Your picture on picture screen, can you drag that down to the bottom? Because I can't see the top of it. What do you mean? Drag 
The, no, the picture on picture screen. The ones in the middle. The, this one? Yeah. Judge oh, like now. this? Yeah. Mm-hmm, okay, okay. Just yelled at me. I wish I caught more so I could expose him mm. more. Well, you missed out, didn't you, Chantel? Mm, dumb fuck. Oh. This is shit of the day. <laughs> wow. But, Chantel, you should have been come out with these clips. What are you doing? T- see, once again, read the room. Uh, fix your timing. She tries yeah. to have it both ways. One minute she's yelling. She gave him his channel, and a few hours later, she's telling her chat that she can't be blamed for him mm-hmm. being on YouTube. Exactly. Mm-hmm. No chef wipes a plate with his fingers. They use a towel. Mm-hmm. And look, that is a fresh Adonis mm-hmm. sauce. Look at all those fruits and veggies. Where did those come from? Mm-hmm. Whose Lay's potato chips do you think are back there behind those onions? Those aren't Nodders. Those are Chantel Marie's. Mm-hmm. Her little snacky snack. Look at that nice, fresh outfit he has on. She also mm-hmm. purchased that. Mm-hmm. What's that thing? The problem, oh. cheese cubes. I guess that's what started the fight mm-hmm. because she didn't mm-hmm. cut the cheese properly. The, the night of the infamous cheese cubes. I tell you what, if this was us and I was at your place and helping you record a video for your YouTube channel and you yelled at me, there would be no more footage. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like jealousy over Dee Dee's alleged abuse. We've seen this. We've seen this. And no one was outraged by it the first time. Gross, Chantel. Yeah, these are old clips, uh, Sam. We've all oh, seen I've this. I've not seen this. Yeah. Oh, my. I love how he puts it like in, like, it looks like a clock or something. He'll put mm-hmm. a little here, then a little mm-hmm. there. <laughs> Look. Reality time. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Believe me, you guys should try it. <laughs> Believe me, guys, you should try it. I can't even get a bite. I kind of miss the Gatineau kitchen, though. I ain't gonna lie. And blames his stress and not being able to fork his food. <laughs> See? This is stress called. Ah. What is it? Yeah. See you next video. Hmm? See you next video. Yeah. So that's all for today, guys. See you next video. Bye. Why would she stop recording? Chantel, you're stupid. Is that I it? That's that. the end. Of, that is the end of the video. You can tell he was mad. You can tell that's probably going to be a problem after that. Why would you stop recording? I would have set that phone down and let her roll. That was it. That was the end of the video. Why did that? You know how old this video is? Yeah, it's old. There's no proof in here. I mean, yeah, you can tell. It seems like that they've been fighting. No telling what's been going on. But as far as like actual proof that something happened, that's not and it. People Chantel. get mad. People get agitated. People get aggravated. Like I'm just saying, you can tell. But why would you stop recording, you dummy? Yeah, no shit. Okay, let's go what's back. That one that says run. Oh, is that a live stream? She run. did. Oh no. You know what? Let's watch my ex is jealous of my ex. So yesterday she didn't come live, and because mm. we were like, has there been proof of life? And yeah, she did a few community tab posts or whatever. But she did a re- another recorded video, which she titled "The Breakup Files, Episode One," which is titled "Real Man," and it has an arrow pointed at at Pete's. Why in the world of all people, Pete? Hey, hey guys. So look, I'm not a fan of Pete's, but he obviously suffers with his own issues. He's going through his own um problems or whatever you want to call it. And I'm sure it's been pretty hard for him to have to sit by and watch Chantel, you know, do all the things that she has and, you know, pretty much forget forget that he even exists, right? And here she is whenever she needs to use Pete's to make Nodder jealous. That's exactly what she does. And that's what she does in this video. Look at this fat fish picture. She loves that picture, huh? Oh, she really does. Where is that? Is it here? Hold on. I think I have it here. Yeah. No. No, ma'am. Mm-mm. 
We don't know who that MC person is. Says, I believe it was February 7th. Thank you. February 7th. Wow. Oh, welcome. It just seems like he's been living with Didi forever. I know he hasn't been. Well, he's been there for a while, but not that long, you know? Yeah. Seems like he's been out of the trap for like what, about a year. Two months? Huh? About two months, maybe. Is that it? to a recorded video i'm gonna try this out these are just clips from the other day and a few from today i'm just mashing everything all together a lot of it might not make sense timeline butter crump and i have but no idea timeline wise so i should say this is what she spent however, yesterday doing putting these stupid videos together yes. on her little iphones you know she didn't do it on her computer you know she didn't no she didn't do it on her computer well she did she she spent her day getting this together and, and probably obsessing over nodder and Didi again but that video she did this morning, she did all through the night instead of yeah. sleeping. Yeah. It's fucking weird, man. I just think that this might help me out a bit while I'm still processing a lot of things. And I just have random... Chantel will be 65 years old still processing her breakup with Nader El Shami that only lasted <laughs> a week. Thoughts throughout <laughs> the day and I'm just taking it easy, working on myself working towards this serious glow up arc i will have more Shit. news for you <laughs> coming soon in the meantime oh, thank God. you for being believe she <laughs> mentions her serious glow up arc in the intro of this video chantel you don't need to have a glow up arc all you have to do is have uh your filtered little fucking pictures this, this to Chantel is her glow up. You see her over there sucking Yeah, I'm going to have a glow shake? up arc too. You just wait. There you go. That's her glow up. She didn't have to put in no work, no effort, nothing. All she had to do was throw a filter on a picture and she is good to go. Suck it, Nodder and DD. I done told you. You're about to buy, buy me a Samsung phone just for streaming purposes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm Being here. Thank right you for watching this. Back. Please thumbs it up. And if you so choose so. And I'll see you next video. Hello guys, hello. Oh my the God. other day. <laughs> the it's other day, so hold on. Tired. I'm sorry. <laughs> why, why, why are we just going to let this pass? <laughs> the other day. You couldn't say Wednesday. Yeah. You couldn't say July 12th. Like, mm -hmm. just the other day. The other day. Just a couple days ago. Yeah. She probably got so much shit in her phone, she can't tell one day from the other. Lazy fuck. She put a sparkle to head the distorted straw from the filter. I'm dead. Holy shit, KB Collision. Thank you so much for the support. Hey, She's so catch. funny. Yeah, that was a good catch. Hold on. I tell you stuck. Wow. <laughs> because I am. Because, well, as you all know, if you've been watching my channel, I've been going through it. And lately, no matter how much melatonin or whatever else I take to try to help me sleep, it just doesn't just doesn't seem to help she's done created a tolerance to the melatonin mm -hmm. she's done created and you can you can act you've got you cannot take this melatonin shit or any kind of sleep medication you will build up a tolerance to anything mm -hmm. not only is the bitch so bad on edibles that she's built up a tolerance it's the same with fucking melatonin mm -hmm. dude wow working on her fatty liver arc ain't that the truth thank you so much fat apples for the support we appreciate you much so yeah, uh, what I'm going to do right now is just go for a drive. Um, I love these sunglasses, but they really don't protect your eyes against the sun. So these will have to do. You need to worry about there protecting your liver. No hey, shit, I look girl. like someone's Aunt Janet. Hello. Maybe someday I will be someone's Aunt Janet. Aunt Janet Soro. Aunt Janet yeah all right so i'm gonna go get some starbucks because i have not had a chocolate cream cold brew in a hot minute so i'm craving one and i want one at least one other than that okay well pause this is my question why do you think because chantel obviously is so absolutely addicted to the internet why did chantel do a recorded video instead of live streaming this like her going to starbucks that's like her prime content we haven't seen her go to a Starbucks in a while, at least not that I remember seeing. So why did she save that for recorded content and not go live? No, we, this is a clip from a live. This is not a clip from a live. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You don't hear her talking to anybody in the chat. If that was a clip from a live, this is actual recorded content, Sam. Keep up. This is not a clip from a live stream. 
I feel like I watched part of this live stream. What because the they're all the same. <laughs> the other day. That day as well. Must be that day. Chin streams her whole damn life. There's no way. There's unforeseen recorded footage. That's exactly is what I'm saying, Fiddle content, Faddle. Or is this a clip from a live? Dude, this is not a clip from a live. This is her recorded content, dude. She did not go live when she did this. Yeah. So the question is, why did she not go live? Yeah. Ho Holly in hell says it's pre-recorded content. Yeah. I thought I would... She didn't want the chat. Uh, just drive around my favorite areas when I'm feeling super stressed. Exactly. There's no hot plain cheeseburgers. Just anxious and I just want to decompress. Hi, Monica. And I'm going to take you with me. And we're going to explore a little bit of <laughs> new area. She fooled me. I like to just kind of drive around and daydream. And I can't believe that you I'm even had do. those thoughts. This is therapeutic for me. Hey, just Native talk girl. about my life a bit. This is just my experience with the melatonin as of the moment my stomach doctor has got me taking six milligrams to help with stomach pain i was shocked when that was recommended but it helps but we all know that's not why fatty takes it creek native girl thank you so much for the super chat we appreciate you man that was really nice of you that's so weird that she says that so is that a thing because you know you get those really bad stomach problems or whatever i wonder if you should, should take one of those melatonin pills I've never heard it recommended for that, but that's, you know, I next time either. you're in pain, maybe you should try that. I just tried, I just started the probiotic a couple of days ago. Remember we picked it up on Saturday. I'm going to give that a shot. Well, I'm just saying if you find yourself, you know, where you're very uncomfortable like you mm. did the other day, I would definitely try that. Thank you so much for, for sure. that. Yeah. Thank you for that. Sam, keep up. Exactly. Pamela. Now it's your turn. Yo, keep up. You Sam. got nerve. <laughs> no, it's your turn now. <laughs> She actually looked clean. She looks clean. She she actually does. Yeah. You know what? I was just going to disagree and talk about the shit that's on her chin. Then I realized that is gunk on the iPad. <laughs> First, let's well, get a coffee. Go first. get the goddamn Windex. It's over there on my desk. You I don't want to touch chin? it. No, she eats and watches that thing. I'm not touching it. Ish. So I want to clarify something. Whenever I make fun of someone's private parts, or you think I'm making fun of someone's private parts when I tell my stories? Oh my God! Why Doesn't it give you nightmares? Like you have, you can have. Yes, you know what? Was that the night that I woke up with those nightmares the other night when I told you I took melatonin? Hell, I forgot mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. Yes, it can give you, you nightmares. Have really crazy dreams, yes. Yep, or just very, very vivid dreams. I like to sleep where I don't really remember any of my dreams. I feel like that's the best sleep that I have. But yeah, with that melatonin, you do have very vivid or possibly nightmares. Mm -hmm. Tell okay, us, Ava. That's a lot of trapper keepers. Yeah, I heard Sam tell y'all about my trapper keepers. What? We went school shopping this weekend and I freaking got me a trapper keeper to keep some uh, papers and stuff in. I don't see the problem. I love a trapper keeper. Mm -hmm. It was a very nice trapper keeper, by the way. It is, too. You should put a picture on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I told you to. I'm not making fun of someone's <laughs> private parts. I'm. Yes, you are. Just. We all have all private parts. Stephanie are ugly, said you guys okay? may miss being in a relationship, but then not. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Like, who even discusses private? Could, do you do you ever hear me saying private parts? Like, who's who talks like this? Who talks like this? No. Well, do you ever hear me talking about somebody's private parts? Private parts, like weirdo. All private parts are <laughs> ugly. All private parts can be smelly at some point. So all I'm saying, I do not think that I, 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 I'm sorry, but I disagree. I, I don't think that I don't even want to say that. Like, I, just say pussy. Yeah. We're a fan of the word pussy. Always have been. Yeah. I mean, anyway, come I don't on. think pussies are ugly. I think they're beautiful. <laughs> hey, cats rule. Yeah. Like, you know, like, no, hey, all private parts are ugly. That's not like, I don't know whose private parts you're looking at. Maybe it's because you were looking at, I don't know, you're uh x is uh st what did you how did you refer to it stretched Ew. stretch okay. marked uh gonorrhea green leaking penis maybe that's why you just assume that and you know that your own uh smelly vagina is ugly i don't know oh, Chantel, God. but can we just move on let's move on okay black ops okay no windex no okay just just a wet paper towel please <laughs> there is I have an equally ugly private part. Maybe even uglier than... Oh, I definitely uglier than a lot of private parts. Well, uh, see, I... I, 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 I just, like, who's going to sit there and say that they got an ugly pussy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not... You're never going to hear me go on camera and say, you know what, guys? I've got an ugly pussy. It's just what it is. Absolutely not. She's beautiful. 
Okay, put some respect on it, Chantel. My God, God, she kills me. I'm okay with that because even though my private part is <laughs> ugly, it's still beautiful and should still be worshipped. And so what should all of the baby elephants on allergies. I grow up. Just want to clarify that. So I just want to get that out there. My vision literally. Went I love all shapes. And Janet Pirate said, "Bitch, you are no Aunt Janet. No, thank you for being a member for five months." <laughs> Look at my body sizes. You know. But he slapped his team on the just, counter in front of Dee Dee. I love that. When a guy sends you an unsolicited pic, sometimes you just have to be shocked and describe what you're observing. Uh, Look at her just driving right across all the parking spots. I love that. <laughs> She's not even in the fucking lane, dude. Yay, a Starbucks line that starts. Look at that car coming right at her. <laughs> this is very typical. But again, her dude, is. what is dirty? Is it the camera lens no, or is it her windshield. windshield? Her car is absolutely filthy. Just wanted to say this because I forgot it was recommended to me because I are, I'm already on so many meds. I in no way recommend it without a doctor. Thank you so much, Creek Native Girl. No, we we get what you're throwing down there. We totally get what you're saying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sam's been uh, actually uh, prescribed some medications for her stomach, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's an ongoing thing. Mm -hmm. I will wait for you. Exactly, Trailer Park. Chocolate cold brew. Chocolate cold cream brew. No, wait. No sleep, uh, Stephanie. Chocolate cream cold brew. Yes. Get your anal Basically, bleach. I'm doing a recorded video today <laughs> Who because said that? I just Trailer don't. Park. <laughs> I hope that was her. Feel like going live right now. Bunny. I feel more like just talking at you guys and not interacting right now. So, mm. when I, get so I think this was yesterday when she was absent from live streaming this must have been what she did well no, she i will do the that other day and i hope the ac is not too noisy because it is blaring it's 69 degrees fahrenheit <laughs> see i'm in canada it's 70 degrees and she's got her windows up and her ac on get some fresh air Chantel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that might do you some good girl get you some fucking fresh air it is 69 degrees in Canada and this beast has her AC blurring and her windows up Ugh! it makes me want to puke just yeah, we the thought of it usually use Celsius but the good thing about using Fahrenheit is that 69 if you're using Celsius you'll never get to 69 degrees Celsius right oh I guess you could but 69 degrees Celsius, I think you would, that would kill you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that would kill you. Right? It is perfect weather. So I figured it out. The lady ahead of me couldn't see me gesturing to her because her effing yoga mat was blocking her vision. That she cut me off. She couldn't see me gesturing. Why does she always have problems with people in the Starbucks line? People are cutting her off or she's cutting somebody off. It's always a thing with Chantel. It really is. She cut me off. Move on, Chantel. It's not like you got a job to get back to or kids oh, at home shit. you got to worry about. You have literally are rushing back home to eat and lay in your fucking pigsty. Shut up. Everybody should be before you. If she was on the Titanic, she'd be the last person off the boat, which means she'd be at the very fucking bottom of the ocean floor. Starbucks, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, thank you. What can I get for you? Can I have a venti chocolate cream cold brew? Please. For sure. Rat face, please. Yeah, is she in slow motion or is she normal? Oh, I think she's normal. Sorry, guys. Holy shit. What am I thinking? Mm. Hold, please. I gotta go potty. I'll go potty, babe. We'll be here when you get back. Hey, don't worry. We'll catch you up. So don't jump around with your yoga mat covering your back friggin' window because... Oh, you're hating on anybody that does anything healthy, aren't you, Chantel? Because you can't even do the least amount of work. Like, roll down your fucking windows when it's 70 degrees outside. You won't be able to see me in back of you gesturing. Thought you are cutting me off. I'm never, I'm, that's gonna ruin my day. I'm gonna try not to let it ruin my day. See, this is why therapy annoys me. Because if I go to therapy, they're gonna try to make me less annoyed and de-escalate the situation and be like, okay, should you really be annoyed? Should you really be? Have some patience. 
It's not really that big of a deal. Yes, it is. I have to wait an extra at least five minutes for this lady to get her friggin' coffee. And I'm sure she ordered a bunch because it took her a while to order. So she probably ordered egg white, egg bites, and a friggin' I don't know. What, what do you think the yoga lady's order is? Comment below. I don't give a crap. I actually kind of want to start doing yoga, but... Please, Chantel, please. I get grumpy over the dumbest things. All right, I'm going to enjoy first sip with you. So this is just chocolate cream cold brew from Starbucks. Mm, mm, mm. Venti, cheers. Beauty sip. Mm. Oh. Mm. Drinking them? Only once. Oh, you mean put the picture in the corner? Will do. Unfiltered Chantel, excuse me. We didn't know who we're really dealing with here, and it's not the woman on the video. Do you think that if somebody, like, turned on our video right now and started watching it, do you think that they would think that these are two different people? Like that woman in the corner, the picture of the woman in the corner was different than the woman in the video? I think they would. I don't know, really makes me appreciate it. It's chocolate milk. I've had those. I did not like them. I think it was MC that said that she liked them. I tried it. I didn't like them. Coffee bees. More positive. Let's go. Let's do it. I can sit in a room. I can hear myself breathing and be quite amused. Life is simple like the wrinkles on my skin. Oh, do you guys feel that way? I don't know. I think if I was in a room by myself, I would be super bored. Like, yes, that's unfiltered Chantel. So I admire people who can just sit. And just be calm and just listen to themselves breathe. I wish I could get to that level of peace someday. We'll see. You know what? I don't like chocolate, uh, chocolate and coffee together either. She got that um, mocha iced coffee. Did you try it? I tried it and did not like it. I know I don't like it. It's our vlog, I guess. Yeah. All right, almost done my coffee. All right, so I'm parked and I did some driving around, just clear my head. As you know, I've been going through all this crap with. Uh, basically, you need to stop talking. <laughs> did you <laughs> see <laughs> that? Stop a bag. Wait God, again. she did, girl. She did. Hold on. Holy crap. Okay. Right there. All right. Almost done my coffee. <laughs> All right. So I'm parked and I did some driving around, just clear my head. As you know, I've been going through all this crap with. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't understand it. You know what's so funny to me is that Nodder, what is it with Nodder that makes these women do crazy things with their hair? But I don't understand how Chantel can sit there and talk shit about Didi's haircut. It's absolutely awful. Agreed. I agree with that. But Chantel, it wasn't how many months ago that you were sitting in your, what was it? Was it her bedroom with that electric shaver mm -hmm. and shaving your head with mm -hmm. patches here and patches. You are not the one to talk about anybody's hair, Chantel. Yours looks just as bad. At least for Didi, I guess she can fucking grow it out. I mean, yeah, you can put a wig on yours, but the thing is you don't know how to wear them properly and you don't take care of them. There's no hope for you. Basically, you need to stop talking crap about Pete's because let me tell you something. Fish stick is a very homophobic term. Number two, you can say you invented it. Mm -hmm. And again, you didn't have a problem with Nodder using the term fish stick until Nodder won't be in a relationship with you. Until and now all of a sudden, his, huh? Until, uh, when, I'm sorry. She didn't have a problem with it when Nodder was sticking his stick in her fish. Exactly. And, oh, that's, that's actually very nice, Sam. That's a very good one. So yeah. So say it again. When uh, he when Nader was sticking his stick in her fish, she didn't have a problem with it. Yeah, exactly. But now all of a sudden, since uh, he's not with you or y'all are not together any longer, it's a whole problem and he's this and he's that. That's why nobody can take you fucking serious. Excuse you, Chantel. We don't need you to tell us how bad Nader is. We know. We don't need you to sit down and make a video about this, that, and the other because we already know. And you backtrack on every goddamn thing. If he was to call you right now, you'd drop everything and jump in your Kia 
and go see him. Look, there's her righteous hand of Chantal. Yep. You could say it's Arabic. We've had people debunk the fact that it's not. So thank you very much. You need to stop attacking Pete's because I really just don't know where the history of you hating Pete's comes from. But then, aha, uh-huh, it clued in. Oh, what do you care? First oh, of all, yeah. What? Yeah. Look at her hand. Look at her hand. Look that's, at the distortion. That, no, because she added this little green screen thing. Oh. That's, a green, that's not her <laughs> that hand. That's a normal was, woman's that's hand. That's not Chantel's. What's no. that for? I don't get it. Yeah. You want to know where the hate for, for Pete's comes from? Is when you It came from when you used to go to his house and you would sit there and talk shit and build up this hate and animosity for Pete's with Nodder. Yeah. That's where it came from. Yeah. It clued in. I still don't really get it, but... It's sort of making a bit of sense here, so let me break it down for you. You hate Pete's because you're threatened by any support system that I may have had. Uh, I'm not with you, and I'll never be with you again. It's July what? What's today? I don't know, like the 18th? Yeah. Why why is she talking about Nodder disliking Pete's? Why? why? I don't know. This is so weird. So you don't have to worry about Pete's anymore. So cut the homophobia big fish stick comments because we all know what you what f word you really want to say when you say that you can hide it behind any word you want but the intention is the same and let me tell you something you You like to talk a lot about how he's not a real man and how you're a real man here's the difference pete has given me thousands of dollars you have taken thousands of dollars from me (laughs) that's what it boils down to eh? is that what makes a real man a real man to give you money come on chantel come on chantel are you fucking kidding me that's the weirdest shit ever yeah not what i expected to hear yeah that makes fucking pete's a putz that don't make him a goddamn real man real man don't just hand women over thousands of dollars like get a grip chantel probably total with all the help i've ever given you and number two yes pete's has impregnated me before Mm, what <laughs> so so pete has got you pregnant and that makes him a real man as uh, as compared to what nodder who didn't get you pregnant because you've had a hysterectomy <laughs> this is the weirdest shit okay ever. yeah that okay we got that on the list there sam okay. i am just i'm very confused right now yeah even she's confused by that comment. Look at her. She had a stare in her. <laughs> did I just say that? I did say it, but I'm going to keep it pushing. It's totally fine. It plays. I've told that story many times. At the time, we thought it was the best decision to have an abortion. So that's what we did. But nonetheless. I don't care. I'm going to say it right here and right now. Thank fucking God. Yes, he is. Send me to hell. I don't care. He is capable of impregnating people. What, what does that what does this mean this is all very, very this is what does this mean so what okay wait a minute so wait maybe you know something that we don't know and here's where here's where no matter what when you're dealing with a person if they are a degenerate you can still make low blows okay this would be an example of said low blows okay if you are implying that maybe Nodder told you that he can't have children and you're using that against him, no matter what kind of person that he is, it still is considered a low blow. It is. So are you saying that because Nodder can't produce children and Pete's can, that's what makes Pete... So what about all these men all over the planet who cannot produce children? Does that take away from their, I don't know, manhood? Mother of Gliders made an excellent point. Pete's is transitioning, so I don't think she should be saying he's a real man. Excellent it, point. It is an excellent point, and she doesn't even care about that. She's no. taking none of that into consideration. Not any exactly, of Exactly, Suzanka. I don't think Ramona wants to be called a real man. Hold on. Imagine what that's, this is probably doing alone to Pete's is mental health. His mental health. You know what I mean? For real. With all the help I've ever given you. And number two, yes, Pete's has impregnated me before. Pause. Wait. Pause again. Also on that same tip, Chantel, you cannot give a man a child at this point. So what does that make you? Yeah. Would that make you less of a woman? Would that make another woman? Or, or like, let's say Dee Dee could give somebody a child and you can't. Mm-hmm. Does that make her more of a woman? I think Chantel? she can. I think Dee Dee can and she can't. Exactly. So what, why are you? What, ugh, what is it. wrong with you? You fucking freak. Chantel, are you listening? Hello? Are you here? I've told that story many times. At the time, we thought it was the best decision to have an abortion. So, that's what we did. But nonetheless, he is, inca- he is capable of impregnating people. Because it happened. So, again, you're wrong there, too. You? What did you impregnate me with? Gonorrhea. 
trichomonas, and chlamydia. This is recorded? Wow. Yeah, that means she watched it back and still put mm-hmm. it up. She edited it. I'm so over it. And lastly, but certainly, well, actually, it is the least of the things here, of the problems here. You have no right to be mad at him at all. Because he literally is just a friend. Just like you and Didi are just friends. Actually, mm. I'm ahead in this position because one, we don't sleep in the same bed. We'd never have since being friends. I was say that was a bad analogy. I've never yeah. gone down on him. You have done that to Didi since being friends. And many, many more things. <laughs> so you need to shut your hypocritical trap about all of this. And so this leads me to my point, actually. A narcissist, which you are will be threatened by a person's support system. You know that Pete's is actually a good man, a real man, for being there for me, helping me through hard times, which I'm doing for him now, yes. But he's been there for me a lot, a lot more than you have. He's a good friend. He's a good person, Chantel. Leave the real man bullshit out of this, especially Mm -hmm. when your best friend is in the process of transitioning. (laughs) Really? Are you fucking that ignorant? Are you that ignorant, Chantel? And you uploaded this shit. Jesus, man. And you're threatened by the fact that he's right when he calls you. Um, he's right. She blocked that, that out. <laughs> Stay mad. Stay mad. That's what? Another day. Oh, this is the clip. Remember that I think it was on the farms that posted it where she shows her bathroom. Just just pay attention. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who is that lady with the black hair, please? If that's Chantel, when was it taken? Why does her voice sound like that? So many questions. Mm-hmm. Sorry, just came back from Canada. Didn't meet Chantel. Boo. Hey, Ingrid. I'm so glad that you are with us today. Thank you for the support. The lady with the black hair. I know this is going to come as a surprise, but that is Chantel unfiltered. From Shan- from Pizza's <laughs> cooking vlog, right? That is so if we see if we spot Chantel in the wild or in if she goes missing, we have photos to provide the search and rescue. Okay. Took the weekend off starting from the beginning, but wanted to say good morning support group. Good morning, Mandy, and thank you for being a member for four months. Mm-mm. Are you ready for this? This is where she's gonna show that she is a sex god. I'm ready for you it. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> She goes right to it. Uh Uh-oh. No. Is is that a magnum? Is that dirty tissue? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Is it under dirty tissue? Yeah. It it can't just be a condom. It has to be a magnum condom. You know, because not only does she get the D, but she gets the big D, baby. The extra large D. Yeah. Nodder, eat your heart out while you're there with Dee Dee Doo Doo. She's getting her some big peen all up in there, Nodder. That's all. That's the only person that she cares about seeing this. Look, look how she keeps panning around. I just want to see how much time she spends on this right here. This specific clip, because we are still in 1.5. Let me slow her down. Not slower. I'm going to put it in normal speed. Hold on. There she is. Okay, right there. 1332. So 1338, she spent six seconds on that one clip to show the condom. So hold on, wait. This is the same video. Same video, yes. So w- tell me what this last part has fuck all to do with my ex is jealous of my ex and not her in Pete's. I don't know. It's okay. just it's just so we know that she's a sex kitten. Okay. That's it. Continue. I need okay. to clean. Yeah. Wow. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Thing, Chantel, impress us and show us cl- show us you cleaning up the hair. Ew. Is she always thinking about sex in people's private areas? Is that all that Chantel thinks about? She's shaving her head and she's closing the door because she doesn't want Pete to think it's her vibrator. Is she's just she, she's close to being a deviant her fucking self, man. Dude, look at that look on her face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying I wouldn't let her babysit nobody's kids. 
us i am tapping out i don't understand dude hold on let's see there's the camera she went tossed her phone down there for that's the what? damn plunger dude yeah i know that plunger looks like it has shit yeah on it currently she it's like she tossed her phone down look at the toilet paper roll empty it's empty she never, she doesn't even bother to refill it, change it, whatever. It's empty, she said, motherfucker. Oops, sorry. So did, maybe the phone fell while recording? I don't know, but the point here is that there is no toilet paper on there. We already knew that Chantel didn't wipe, but this is just more evidence to add to the fact that Chantel does not wipe after she uses the bathroom. I want to see what the inside of the toilet looks like. I want to see when she lifts the lid, what the rim of the toilet looks like. I want to see it. Look at that Look shirt. At she didn't even put the toilet seat down before she bent over it to pick her phone up. She's using black hair care products for the wig. Shell, thank you for the support. I, I, I'm surprised she even puts any product in the wigs at all. I'm really shocked. I'm, I think she only does it to mess the smell. Look at that. Jesus Christ. Look at her. Look at her. The you toilet seat. Look, yeah, she's like, yeah. did I leave anything in there? <laughs> look at her. She's even <laughs> grossed out. By yeah. Where, oh, she's like, oh, dear yeah. God. Look. Oh, Jesus. And that dress. That goddamn dress. You know what? Let's take it. Let's do, Let's do a slow moe. Let's do a slow modi. Okay. Just one. Hold on. Here we go. Let's really take it in this uh, toilet scene, shall we? Hello. So, I have decided to... Do some more self care by going for a drive. What the, what was the what was the self care that you did? What you shaved your head? Is that considered? I guess that is self care, but there's a whole lot you got to work on, Chantel. I mean, number one, stop obsessing over your ex and his new girlfriend. Ugh. I'm being bad. Made a nice coffee myself. That looks horrible. Starbucks cup, McDonald's coffee, <laughs> some cream and maple syrup. <gasps> she put maple syrup in her co iced coffee. Unreal, dude. I've had enough. Mm -hmm. Look at all that gravity. My chat's behind again. Maple syrup is Canadian sugar. And if I sound tired and over it, it's because I am. Wow, guys. Wow. Well, that was a lot. How long was that video? That video wasn't very long. That video alone was 15 minutes. And then yesterday, we're not going to watch any of the live streams from Chantel from yesterday. We have a lot to get caught up on for the rest of the week. So don't worry. We're going to have plenty to watch for the remainder. Yesterday's live stream was five hours and 10, 10 minutes. Um, then she did another one. I think that was from yesterday. Was that the only one that she did? Okay, so that was the only live stream that she did, and it was five hours long. In that damn granny dress. Yeah. So she finished that vlog yesterday because she's in the granny dress at the end. Yep, yep, for sure. So anyways, I think we're going to wrap it up here, guys. I'm a little, um, what do you want to call it? Like this overstimulated. Is, yes, yes. You know, I got to take this all in. I, yes, I, I watched decompress. a lot of this shit over the weekend. I did not watch those recorded videos. So that was all new. But just hearing those phone calls and trying to take it all in. 
just one step at a time. Tomorrow we will, you know, come back fresh. We will start and we will see where we pick up from. We'll see what happens today with these three clowns. And then if, if not anything very, you know, interesting happens, we'll go back to the live streams that we missed over the weekend. I think we're going to have another drop of the recorded con phone call. Yeah. I'm, it, uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what's going to happen there. But thank you all for joining us here this morning. Thank you, Sam, yes. for joining us and gracing us with your presence on the support group Aww, meeting. Thanks for having me. <laughs> all right, guys. We'll see you all same place, same time tomorrow. Yes, thumbs up the stream. I appreciate you all. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thank you.